Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome, welcome, welcome to our Saturday live stream where we're back in RimWorld. We've been doing a lot of streaming this week. Uh, we've got the, well, we've got the extra stream on Thursday, but it really does seem to take over a lot. I mean, four days of streaming doesn't mean a lot for my other normal work because the, uh, the old voice box needs a little bit of love and we'll see. Dun, 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 dun. Did anyone hear about the bug of not having a prisoner get executed because the room was too cold? Huh. No, that's interesting. I hadn't heard of that. I wonder why that would happen. Weird. Maybe because, like, it was considered a dangerous, like, temperature zone, so no one wanted to go into it? Huh. No, I've never heard of that. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. No tapping to go along with the awesome music. Yeah. I'm not sure, but I think I may have slightly broken a two. A couple of days ago, I, like, whacked my foot at some point. I don't even have a specific memory of having sort of whacked my toe. I, I sort of have an awareness of it, and it was kind of fine. But then when I woke up the next morning, when I woke up yesterday morning, the toe was, like, everything was kind of painful and a little swollen, and it's still there today. I don't think it's a bad crack. I can still kind of, I can wiggle things, though it hurts. And there's not, the doctors don't really do anything other than be like, well, try not to stay on your toe. Ice it, elevate it, you know, maybe you can tape it to the toe next to it, but that, that's pretty much it, so... Yeah, it's very awkward and annoying, especially since the recording room's in the basement. Going up and down the stairs is a little bit, uh, a little bit of a thing, but we'll see. <laughs> ah, yes, the ritual wouldn't go ahead because the prisoner deemed it too cold to perform. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Supposedly Tynan, Tynan was working on it earlier this week. Cool, interesting. Toe advice? Nailed it. <laughs> da 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 so anyway, I'm on a I'm on a weak painkiller, so I might be a little woo, over here. Let's quickly uh, read the uh, the subs and resubs that are coming in here, and then we'll get started over here. Last stream, I, there was a few things we got to catch up on, but uh, very typical. At the end of the four-hour stream, things got a little sloppy, you know, a little, a little, playing a little fast and loose with things, and we did lose one of our colonists, but we got plenty, so I really wasn't concerned. I'm still not concerned, even though that's not terribly kind to the villain. Sorry, the villain. Uh, but yeah, let's pop on over and see what is what we got. Let's scroll down to the oldest first for a change. Elf Siren! Hey, Elf! Coming in at 72 months. Thanks, Elf. Sorry you didn't do the last, um, let him dare so you could do the testing on the stream. We got Stan from Timmins, one of the places where I did live back in the day, at 28 months. Crit Guards, a two month. Hey, thanks for resubbing. Thanks for making, for always making amazing content. And for the last decade, I've loved watching for free, but now I can repay the great joy you've given me uh, to me and my friends. Cheers. Thank you very much, Crit Guards. Queen of Kings at eight months. Thank you very much. I always love watching RimWorld stream. I love playing RimWorld. And uh, RimWorld, RimWorld like um, Crusader Kings is especially better streamed. There's something about the live interaction. I think it's because of the nature of how many things can go badly in this game. It's just way, way better stream. Draconium is at 31 months. Reg Cooper. 107. Which, I mean, a lot better than the 007. Reg Cooper, 107 months. Thank you very much. Zixki, which I can never pronounce properly because I don't know why. My mouth just doesn't do it. At 46 months. Mmm. <laughs> Rimmy. Uh, Kenya's at 80 months. 8 0. Ty Phineas is at 70 months. 7 0. Ziggity Zigzag at 45. Voxel Hound at 33. Use that prime sub indeed. Norma the Dane is at 81 months. What is this, reverse month? Yeah, 18 is pretty good. 81, I guess it's almost as good. And we have a little Twitch baby. Ooh, we have a little Twitch baby. Wizard Blackhawk at nine months, a Twitch baby. Oh, so nice. And uh, Sil Silvio Cast, thanks for giving a gift sub. Much appreciated. Okay. I mean, we are due for Grudy Kings this stream soon. Although, even more maybe is like, I gotta play EU4 again. It's been so freaking long and I love EU4, but Victoria 3 being released is not gonna help that. God damn, Vicky's good. And I'm really, I mean, it, I mean, there's still some things that I wanna see for like balance and UI changes and stuff like that. And yet it is so good and fun as is, it's freaky to think about in the future. Anyway, oh yeah, and God, and Dwarf Fortress coming out in just what? Two weeks? Three weeks. Something like that. The Steam version of DF. Oh, 
I was thinking we might get a classic Dwarf Fortress uh, playthrough in again before that, but I don't think that's going to happen, especially with the EVE Online stuff going on. Anyway, let's go ahead and just on pause, we'll leave it on speed one over here, and take a look at our beautiful colony. We are playing um, effectively vanilla. Uh, we do have some mods going on, but they're user interface mods and things like that. I'm explicitly not running any mods that change gameplays, even ones that change gameplays almost like imperceptibly. Like the allow tool doesn't really change gameplay in a significant way, but I'm not running it just because whatever. It's whiskey and chocolate. It's whiskey and chocolate. It's more like Toe Healthcare. Elf, hey! Thank you very much. Hope hold on, I gotta go to the other page. I can read that properly. Hopefully one of these days my schedule allows for London Dare again. Not that I'm complaining. Just got back last night from a work trip to Florida. It was a grueling week, but way worth it to see the Artemis launch up close. Did you really? Oh shit, that's cool. That's really cool. I don't know why. Is it is it something about the biome? We seem to get so many ambrosia sprouts. It's crazy. I, I'd like stopped even bothering to like grow zone all of them, but I'll do this one just because I'm arbitrary. So just make a grow zone, disallow sowing, and when the ambrosia matures, it'll get picked. <laughs> a toe jam leads to toe healthcare. Yeah, that is a big monument blueprint. Um, ooh, advanced fabrication, nice. Um, Maybe shields for our male ears. I don't know. Anyway, um, you got press credentials from work. Spent most of the week setting up remote cameras. Even got on top of the VAB. What the hell, Elf? That's amazingly cool. <laughs> what? All right. The rest of us are super jealous. So, yeah, that is a huge monument. It's going to be a fair amount of work, but the reward for it is an awesome Persona Plasma Sword and, like, Infinitude Uranium. I mean, yeah, 9,000 value worth of stuff here. It's gonna be pretty amazing. Um, we have, yeah, we have allocated the material to be built. That's gonna start soon. But yeah, a few injuries from whatever the last attack was. Oh, I remember now, they, these uh, Labradors as well. I didn't take them seriously. I didn't think it was gonna be too bad. So I really didn't worry too much about setting things up. I didn't actually get my melee airs up front to tank. So that we got a few more injuries than we should have as a result. Valinor is looking pretty ill right now. Is that an infection? Do you have a major infection? Oh, your immunity's not quite there. Okay, tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna allow, for everyone, I will allow up to Glitter World Medicine because we do have some. I am running the Pharmacist mod, which auto manages like making sure people don't use the, uh, the wrong medicine. Again, that doesn't change gameplay, it just saves you a few clicks. So theoretically, if the uh, infection gets bad enough, we'll use some, uh, some stuff. Can't forget to send the Bunisher, right? Exactly, that's why you have, uh, we have the injuries Bunishers because we didn't send you to go and tank. I mean, I gotta say, this like attack rhino has worked out so well for us. So well for us. I think there's a mech at the bottom right that's forbidden. I 100% believe you, but I don't know exactly where you mean. So first of all, I think I'm going to, just in case, I'm gonna make all my people unrestricted fully, because oh, hold on, we don't have anything on the map, right? We don't have any threats still on the map? Oh, yes we do. That's why we had people on the, hold on, the work zone so that we don't actually venture off over here. Okay. Rhino's bullet resistance needs to work on dog resistance. Okay, I don't think there's any other threats. And if I take a look at the work zone, like allowed area for work, it's around our base. Oh, apparently this needs to be expanded here. I'll have to check my, my wall zoning as well. Uh, and this area over here. And people will walk be between zones that aren't designated to reach areas. So yeah, man the mortars. Um, I think uh, we were out of shells. I think we shelled them a bunch, uh, which is why this is pretty damaged. The defoliator is expanding, but we still got plenty of time. Probably one more shell hit on... Well, I don't know actually how much damage it does. But we can just finish this off and then have these things attack us or or kill those things and go and beat up, you know, whichever way we want to go. Uh, Rhyme Pendragon, I know you're getting some treatment still, but let's go ahead and do that. And Valinor, how is your infection here? Yeah, so you only got a 19% 10 quality for some reason. It's possible, oh yeah, 
uh, probably a big part of it is this. Uh, I'll turn on Rhyme as a thing, but really we do want Doc Villain looking after those things now. Child the Mortars. And yeah, Pardukbok wants to be fixed up, but that'll happen once Valinor is up. Let's go sip for something. Uh, banana? Who are you, Banana Commander? Oh, yes, this child here. Oh yeah, you took some damage. So yeah, we they managed to get you through the whole, like, because you were born sickly and stuff. We managed to get through that. But yeah, you've lost an arm and stuff. So okay, you're gonna get some early bionics. Um, but yeah, I didn't I didn't have things properly zoned. Children were out in the middle of nowhere getting themselves murdered. Um, again, it, it I I I really like the four hour um, live stream on Saturdays, but I do get kind of um, less great and less focused and more rushy at the end of them. So I'm gonna try to be a little more careful. Child with adult arm, with, you grow into it. Yeah, no, it's like in the that episode of Rick and Morty where he had like the extra arm like attached to him. <laughs> but yeah, we're all transhumanists, so babies with uh, bionic arms makes perfect sense to me. Oh, a little bit of rain, which is nice. Can put out these fires. Do, 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 do. Banana Command, you have a serious death wish. You went out to face two raids. Yeah. Oh yeah, Bunisher's roaming around inside the place. Um, I think Bunisher. Who's this? Oh, and a Wabbit. I'm gonna limit you guys to the pen area now. Oh, is it because? Oh, it's because I didn't have any food over here. I let you roam in to get some food. But, um. We have a Wabbit. Did I set? Okay, I did set the auto slaughter. And we do have a couple people on animal handling, so it should happen. Oh, Rhino. <laughs> yeah, man, this rhino's awesome. Did so much work. Uh, oh, lightning strike over here. The fire will go out pretty quickly, though. Banana command. Yeah. So banana command has got the health injury or the the health emergency, but you should be fine. Uh, you had extreme blood loss. You do currently have an infection, but your immunity is well ahead, so that's going to be fine. And yeah, hopefully next time, Valinor, you're gonna. Could you stay in bed, dude? I know you want to get neural supercharged. Stay in bed. It's way more important. Grr. Furniture isn't that dirty, Grant. Rhinos are the third dirtiest. Filth race only. I mean, I suppose what I could do, actually, I do have the cleaning bots. And it is very important that Bunisher keeps eating. I will unrestrict Bunisher. Or keep him in the walled area. There you go. Because um, when he's following a drafted person, um, I think he ignores restrictions just like drafted people do. But yeah, Bunisher can go and grab some food from over here. It's going to be okay. I activated the, um, the uh, speech bubble mod. Yeah. I remember I, I really like that. I, it probably isn't updated in the link. Which kid last died last time? The villain. He still haven't been dealt with. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I think the reason they haven't been dealt with is because I turned off butchering for our colonists. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a separate build for them. Do forever. They're all... There we go. This allows our colonists in here. I'm just going to rename this. Or actually, this is Butcher Humans, is what this is. Now, our people don't mind butchering humans, but the reason I had it disabled from this one here, or at least I thought I did, let me allow all and put that there, is um, in another game that I was running. Oh, well, I guess we may have done it because of the mech serum thing, but we've used up our mech serum. I think we're just going to butcher the villain here. No one will care. We have to be careful. Um, it might not matter here, but when you get the event where the mechanator, like when you, you you smash the thing to get the signal so you can like get a mechanator to land so you can get your first mech link. I, in one of the games I was playing on my own, I'm pretty sure I was like too enthusiastic about like cremating or butchering or something. Probably cremating. I think it may have burned the mech link. I may have not un like removed the mech link before burning the body. Hmm. Yeah, we, uh, we did use a uh, mech resurrector serum on someone already. It's uh, whoever went blind. Is it a child? I can't remember who it was. Um, but if we look... Right here. There's Grumpy Oldie. Uh, Grumpy Oldie got resurrected, and they, uh, they were blind in both eyes when they came back. Uh, so we've got one bionic eye in them for them right now. We'll get another one in there. But yeah, our, our kids are going to get, like, super cyborg. Very cybered up. 
<laughs> grumpy. Definitely not me. My eyesight is fine. Yes, eyesight singular. Okay, medical treatment needed. What is Doc Villain up to? Oh, you're in a biosculptor pod. Rhyme. So you're the next on doctoring. There you go. You are doing some tending. All right, that's that's part of what's going on here, I guess. Oh, and we have a bunch of people with malaria. That's not helping. But yeah, we talked about maybe tearing down these bedrooms, getting a hallway here, so we don't have to walk around as much to get some of these places, which might be good. Especially, I'm gonna build a series of bedrooms over here, but I don't have to rush. We've got we've got some spare beds still. They're not great, but they're there. Uh, building this for the ward is gonna be huge. The doctor, better watch out. Yeah, well. I mean, you don't have passion for it, but you do have a skill of seven, which isn't bad. Garonlin pod sprout. Um, wow, you are in the way. We'll harvest you. I don't think we're going to be planting it. The, the unmodded dry ads are still kind of... <coughs> toddler with no depth perception to machine gun. We'll possibly go wrong. Hey, you don't need to have uh, good eyesight to use a machine gun. Holy fire. Dry thunderstorm? Urgh. they can't even Does our work area include enough stuff out here no not quite enough so let me do that doctor on psychoid tea turns out it's fine psychoid tea doesn't actually um lower consciousness uh, what am i looking for rhyme yeah as it turns out plus the neural supercharging that rhyme pen dragon has got has boosted the consciousness which is helpful Valinor, how's this getting? In extreme infection. Oh my god, that is tight. But you'd have 113% 10 quality this time. So I think you got the uh, the Glitter World. I maybe should have forced the Glitter World sooner. But the immunity is definitely climbing quickly. Being in an actual medical bed with the scanner is going to help as well. Yeah, I think we're going to be okay. I mean, we could amputate it. You don't mind prosthetics. Although you've already got one. But yeah, there you go. Immunity is ahead. We did, I think we did use Glitter World to do it, but that's going to be okay. <laughs> Valinor in chat says, I can always use a Bionic Leg if you need to amputate. Oh. We'll still have to get you a Bionic for the, um, for the one that's just a prosthetic right now. Okay, but we can now make Hadvance components, which is great. We don't need to keep a large amount around. I think if you're building a spaceship, one of the pieces needs eight, but otherwise, I don't know. I'll set like four. That's going to be plenty for everything we ever need. So we do have some Q in here for Bionic eyes, arms, legs. In fact, I might just want to set it so I keep one of each right now, but yeah, right now we'll just do it that way. So Valinor should be okay. Yep, there you go. Immunity is about to kick in. And it's still saying there's a medical emergency for Banana Cabana. Oh, you're also having hypothermia? Wait, why are you up? Get in bed, you stupid child! Hey, this room is warm. Oh, it's not as warm as I would have thought, actually. So I'll get a second heater. It's a fairly large room, I suppose. Uh, I know Valinor is a constructor, and we got the constructor bot, but there we go. Zapper. Oh, did, could you come over here, please, and just finish this? To research now. You know what? I'm just gonna research Coco because maybe we can do some chocolatey things. And Anne has a death wish. Like, seriously, child, what's wrong with you? All right, we just used the Glitter World medicine. I see it in use, and it's like, I don't think we needed it. We might have been fine, but on the other hand, let's just make sure we don't have another kid die. Head, shoulders, knees, but not quills, toes. Yeah. <laughs> Before anyone sent a treat stream, let's make sure Sentra's in chat. I don't want to have to run up and down the stairs to check on treat stream. Uh, there's our masterwork heavy SMG that we got as a reward at some point, which we need to equip on someone. Oh, oh, you already you also have a masterwork one, and I think we got a legendary. Yeah, right over there. 
You have a Masterwork one. You have an excellent one. Tell you what. Uh, Valinor will get you to switch to this. But I guess it doesn't really matter as long as they're upgrades. Yeah. You're good. And actually, it's only got 13% hit points. We'll do that. Okay. Essentia is not feeling very well. Hasn't felt well for a while. Um, doesn't have COVID, but it's possible. Well, it hasn't tested for COVID, but it's been sick for a while. But may have had COVID that's like evolved into kind of like a bronchitis thing. And oh, uh, gold school texture. <laughs> oh, is Al York? I gotta check on that. Um, I'm not sure. As even she's not she's not doing great either. Although she's possibly doing better than Essentia these days. over really bad colds that time of year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you still need the repairs. Well, well theoretically Valinor should get to you now that Valinor is out of bed. Your your mom had a terrible cold a few weeks ago. Carrot? Jeez. <gasps> Partial should contain goodies for Eva and Essentia too. Okay. Next time I'm out, I'm definitely gonna check on that. The only time you need a lot of advanced components, using a lot of mods to add that. Or yeah, or power armor. Which I think we are gonna want a power armor, but yeah. Uh, that is expensive, although it's one thing that's gonna help, because I think the power armor needs uranium. Getting 600 units of uranium out of completing this is gonna be huge. And yeah, both of our meleeers are gonna have a persona sword. It's a persona monosword and a persona plasma sword. Uh, Alligator's gonna get one at some point. Not that Thrombohorn or Thrombohorn is bad as a melee weapon. It's actually quite good, but that's gonna be god tier. Yeah, I got a little bit of miasma over here. We got a rotten cow, unfortunately. Whoa, Zalior! Thanks for the gift subs. Ten gift subs, thank you. What is a building that looks like a, it's going to be an hourglass going to be used for? So this, we're just doing it as a quest. We have to build this thing for a quest, and it's got a huge reward for us, which is great. We could use this structure after it's built. We may, we may not. I don't know. And now I go back to work. Oi! Damn it, everyone. Everyone's got to take four hours off or be awake, you know, for this period for the live stream. Yeah, there's a lot of corpses here. I guess, okay. If I build a cremator and told it to cremate all corpses within a certain radius, because I don't actually want it to, like, go and cremate random stuff somewhere else. But these, I mean, they showed up with Scaria here, so they insta-rotted when they died. We are going to have to clean this up. Oh, a statue in everyone's room. Even though it's adding wealth. Haha! <laughs> that building's for a quest. I thought we were making a temple for the rhino. Well, maybe. Yeah, and I don't want any excuses from people in, like, Australia or whatever. It'd be like, but it's 2 o'clock in the morning. Doesn't matter. We watch the whole stream start to finish every time. We really need some hay. We're going to have some uh, some real animal hunger stuff happening. We should probably plant more hay. It's actually 4.23 in the morning here. Wow. Elon, whatever you say. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. All right. Why is drunk shooter in the hospital bed? Oh, malaria. Yeah. All right. Fair. I have a lot of neuro superchargers. I think, don't think. No, we don't have enough for all of our adults. But flame beard, you're in a poor mood. Oh, your daughter, the villain, died. All right. I mean, legit. Legit. Yeah. Makes sense. Christmas story, Christmas? Hmm. Yeah, Europeans might have the most convenient 
timing for these streams. You know, unless they're having to work around family dinners or something like that. But it doesn't tend to conflict with as many things. Alright, banana. There you go. Infection. Still having those things heal. See you many times under your post. Hey! Always fun when you can guess correctly. You don't need lungs to live. Well, in the real world, you don't need a stomach to live. I mean, I guess in real life, either. It does feel a little bit weird that, like... They're not confined to bed, though. But technically, you don't need a stomach. Mm -hmm. Okay, Coco, which I was researching kind of mostly just for funsies. I don't know, we might consider setting up for hydroponics at some point. We can move some of the growth in there. Our growing period's pretty good here. Oh, it, it, right, it's actually year-round. So yeah, I'm not worried about making a greenhouse. I mean, sometimes we lose things or whatever. Oh, wish for charity. We're not going to do charity things. 70 herbal medicine. Yeah, no. Oh, we could research the autocannon turrets. That's true. I mean, I still don't have much in the way of turrets in general set up, but maybe I should do that. With the achievement mods, there's an achievement for taming one of each vanilla critter. Gotta catch them all. Ooh, I do like the achievement mod. It's a lot of fun. Just, you know, acknowledging awesome things. Ooh, trade ship is coming by. So Sarge, our vampire, is the best at social. Let's give a little chit-chat here. Um, actually, before we do... Right, uh, steel would be very nice. Let me sell off. Are we not, um, culling our, our horses? Oh, then we have another stallion there. Okay, let me sell off four stallions. Because we still have this one. Well, this, uh, this is not a faction, so gifting before trading doesn't do anything. Now, you usually don't bother. Technically, if I'm going to gift, I should do it before trade to get better prices, but... Yeah. Buy chocolate. What I want to do is... I mean, if ideally... I mean, all the components, always. Always buy components. If I can get the neutral, I mean, that would be quite nice, because we still need it for some drug production. Do I not have any silver stored? I have silver. Must not be a trade beacon for it. Oh, the silver might get, be getting stored outside. Hang on. Wait a sec. Where's my uh, dumping stockpile? Right, right over here. Yeah, silver plasteel. Um, the plasteel can stay out of here, but I think I should turn off the silver so that it's actually stored where my... Um, my trade beacon is. Hang on a sec. There we go. It's probably all of it. That's why I love the map wide trade beacon mod. I mean, yeah, it makes sense. Again, I'm trying not to run anything in this game that changes gameplay. Just, you know, just because. We do a lot of really heavily modded runs, and it's nice to go the other direction sometimes. Okay. I mean, not that we had tons of silver there. So ideally, ooh, uh, not so much the chem fuel. Ideally, I'd like to get all the intromine, the components, the advanced components. Um, let's sell you... Now, we need to keep a fair amount of Psych ID, so I'll keep that. I'll sell the Ambrosia. Um, I'll sell some leather. I'll sell that too. We don't need to keep that much around. I'll sell this Go Juice. I might just sell this jade, actually. Sell this guy. The seed. Um, you know what? I'm going to the, sell the stone skin gland, because I think I'd rather have people going around like power armor and stuff as kind of a lady, lady gamey thing. The pharmacist mod technically isn't updated, but there's someone else made a, um, a, a copy of the mod that was updated. I mean, something may have changed, but last time I checked, that was the situation. Keep that duster. Sell a couple of those, we can rebuild them. Okay, so they don't actually have this much money. Where's the steel?
I'll sell you. Okay, that's not bad. You're gonna get a thousand steel, some components, advanced components, neutromine. Oh, we could chem fuel, I suppose, but I can also make it really easily because we have basically unlimited amounts of wood. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna do this. So yeah, we do have a we do have a, our own chem fuel production job there. Oh, Flamebeard is on a psychite binge because their daughter died. I mean, yeah, I get it. That sounds pretty depressing. We have psychite tea. Try not to drink all of it. I guess I could sell the, the human leather. I guess I should sell as much as possible just to bring down wealth. I was keeping it because, like, you can make stuff out of human leather and it's worth a lot, but... I mean, we also produce, like, tons of Devil Strand and things, and probably better to make things out of that. Okay. Whoa! That is worth... more than expected. There you go. Take all their money. Left. Excellent! So yeah, I mean, the wealth is still fairly high. We're going to get some pretty serious attacks. Our people are equipped with very good weapons, which is going to help. But I think I probably do need to get more, uh... <laughs> more uh, turrets. Buy gold might not have been a terrible idea, actually. Hold on. And maybe Plasteel? Uh, did they have Plasteel? Oh, they do. Hold on. Yes. And actually, if they have gold... I mean, it's expensive. Whoa. Hold on. Because we do need gold for some things. We also need plasteel, but that's, uh... <laughs> the trade captain's going to be annoyed with... Wait, one more thing. I mean, we're not hurting for plasteel currently, but we kind of always need more. So, yeah, let's do it. You know what? That's a good point. I forgot we still have the human leather. Maybe I'll just get rid of all the cloth. All the plasteel. And how much gold do you got? Okay. Actually. There you go. Alright. Done. Mm -hmm. Good. I'll keep our industries going for a little while. Do we, um, do we not have a cook active? Stop villain. Oh, right, you're in the pod. Turn on cooking for some other people so some things get butchered before they rot. Kermino's pregnant again! Hey, excellent! Although these are still the baseliners. It's Kermino and her vampire husband. They just make baseliner kids. All right, we got the extra subcore, which is going to lead to right a second lifter and a second clean sweeper. Could have made um, some millotors, but I think we'll appreciate this. Okay, I'm going to bring this hull down to the floor again. I'm surprised we're not getting messages about animal starvation, but I guess they're they're just managing. I guess I never put any limitations on anything here. I mean, we need a fair amount of stuff to ride. Maybe I'll keep two of them around. And up to like six females. Yeah. What's that? Mechanator compound. Remains in Longdain Mechanator. Oh, I can get a second mech link! Oh, ho, ho. Hey, Diego! Wow, look at all the colored hearts. That's neat. Okay, I think we will want to go and raid that. We might wait until, say, Flamebeard's mood is improved. At least all our medical disasters are over with, which is nice. Well, we might want to wait until Doc Villain's out of the pod here. It's still going to take eight freaking days. I gotta say, even with the Mechanator speed up, 
the, the mod that adds, um... Oh yeah, that's right, manhunting animals go for mechs. The mod that uh, reduces the amount of time it takes to be in those uh, biopods is kind of nice. Give Flamebeard the second mech link so they can have bionic children, there you go! You need a manhunter pack to care that, yes. Butcher the rhino, what? Never! Massive building is just for a quest. It's gonna give us a Persona Plasma Sword, which is gonna be amazing. And 600 Uranium, which is also gonna be quite good. And then we might tear it down. I don't know, we'll see. Hydroponics finished. Okay, let's get the auto cannon turrets. I should probably auto turret. Actually, before we get raided by Max, what I should really do is have my little side tunnel so we can set up with some EMP grenades. That much uranium shame we don't have simple side arms. Right? I know, get everyone in uranium maces. Oh, I might. Yeah, you're right, I am short on wood. Okay, I can't believe we've gotten this far and I still haven't accidentally cut down the, um, the psychic tree. Here, I'm gonna cut lots of trees down. Nope, the mechs at the bottom left are still there. Side channel on east, kill box on the, yeah, uh, I'm, I don't know if that's, if you're, what you're saying is exactly what I'm planning on doing. Uh, but yeah, I am going to build a little, um, a little hallway here. So I'm gonna move the guns over to mostly this side. I'm gonna build a little hallway here so that we can come in, you know, basically in line with the, the core of our base as opposed to here. And then have a little door here that we can throw EMP grenades for when we get like giant amounts of centipedes. In before someone gets trapped in the wall. Yeah. Our people are pretty dumb. <laughs> Apparently I'm just a breeding machine. Yeah, Karina, I mean, you and Sar just, just have a really good relationship, I suppose. You know? And no understanding of how to use condoms. No, that's okay. We want more babies. I mean, we could always, uh, we can always give a snip snip to one of you. But that is useful. Yeah, there's a mod for slightly smarter construction behavior that does a pretty good job of stopping people from getting stuck in places. But it's fine. If someone gets stuck there, at that point, we just, you know, deconstruct these walls. They're, whoever gets stuck here is clearly a constructor, so they'll pop themselves up pretty quick. Kermino might have been set to actively try for children. You're right. Actually, that's probably true. I think we did. We have two couples, and I think we set them both that way. Yep. Aggressive baby making is where it's at. Kind of wish I'd worded that differently, but... <laughs> Remember to spay and neuter your colonists. Get Bob Barker. Na, 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 na. New wall within the work area. This might not be, although also they're also constructing this whole area. But yeah, you're probably right. But yeah, I'm not rushing to get this wall built. <laughs> yeah, the villain died. My children were roaming around when we got attacked by manhunting Labradors. Do, 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 do. We're not making new bot cores last time. Uh, yeah, uh, the cores just finished, so now we are working on the two bots over here. We're gonna get a second lifter and a second cleaner, which I think is gonna be really useful. We'll steal a work mining site. We could go and raid that mechanator site as well. Which actually does seem like a pretty good idea. Oh yeah, children keep, yeah, they, they use the radio here. In fact, I might want a second comms console just because we have so many kids. All right, let's go raid. Although, you know what, hold on, it is chilly. I'm wondering if they might get too cold. Yeah, the P music tracks are really good. I am happy I finally loaded them in. They're very nice. 
Shame rhinos aren't rideable in vanilla. Toddler with a machine gun riding a rhino into battle would be epic. Yeah, I've dabbled with the giddy up and go or whatever those mods were called, but ultimately, didn't feel they worked great. Ooh, masterwork. Oh, okay. We don't really need that. Thanks for generating a bunch of wealth for us. Hey, Quill, pay attention. There's a new subscriber. Hatha with the gift subs. Thank you. Hatha gifting two subs to the channel. To uh, Wisconsin Big Dog and Dual Space. Western P music track is awesome. Yeah. Always move the mass work cable. And that is true. I mean, our current cable here is pretty weak sauce. Well, I do want to get a little table outside, actually. I want to get a little table right over here. As more bait for, like, attackers, but also um, when uh, when we're done defending, a lot of times people want to eat right away, and if they're slightly too far from this table, well, actually, they're probably in range there, but... Uh, someone got resurrected, yeah. I think it was Grumpy Oldie who got resurrected, right? We just confirmed that at the start of the uh, stream? Yes. Also, Grumpy Oldie is naked. Do we not have enough ple children's clothes? You know, I'm going to set this do romper job like this. Just keep one around. Make sure it has at least 55% hit points. And yeah, only use cloth for it. Or, I mean, I guess random leathers would be fine. Or wools. But not thrumble fur. We did that once as a joke. But yeah, there we go. We'll keep a brand new romper around. Grumpy hasn't gotten a second eye yet. It hasn't been built yet. <laughs> okay, good. Then that one mech got repaired, which is great. Oh, I have a lot of uh, garbage to send here. Um, what's it called? Toxic waste pack. Yeah. There we go. We gotta we gotta fling more toxic waste out because our fridge is getting a little bit full. Throw them for diapers. <laughs> we didn't remake Punisher's bed. It's still here. That's poor quality. That's unfortunate, but it is made out of thrumber fur. It's, oh, it's because it was poor quality. You know what? Well, I'm gonna pretend it was it was perfect quality when it was built, and then Thrumbo sat or uh, Bunisher sat in it the first time, and it just got absolutely squashed, and that's why it's poor quality. I'm just gonna pretend that's the case. Do -do -do. Just flinging some pollution at some travels. I'm sure they won't mind. Build a new pod. Da 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 da. Poor quality. Not that heavy. <laughs> I mean, you know, diplomatically, it's not great, but we actually don't care about pissing off the tribals. And they can attack in very large numbers, but they're the things we're the, we're the happiest to fight. Yeah, I think, um, I think having, like, all factions care about, like, um... Well, I guess I could have done this, because deconstructing is lower priority than constructing, so I could have flagged this sooner. Um, having all factions care about you flinging pollution just out in the world probably is a good idea. Do, 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 do. I guess you're roofing that area, but that's not the end of the world. Oh, can enter it. Okay, I'm gonna work on recon armor. Expensive as hell, but it's going to be nice to have access to some of that. Ooh, drunk shooters idle? I don't see a lot of idleness. No blocks to carve, I suppose. No plants to grow. That's fine. Inspired creativity. Well, alligators are uh, artists, so they're going to make a very nice statue here. Ho, ho, ho. Put him in a pod. Oh, because he's idle? Yeah, he's not going to be idle for very long. I think this, yeah, this quest is done, because normally if you click on this, it would give you a little thing to like select the quest. So I can put a deconstruct on all these things. There's already no roof set up. I think I've blocked the roof over here. Yeah. I don't know if it matters, but you know, I'll, I'll go ahead and say like, don't roof this stuff. Make the old monument into a barn. Good. Well, yeah, right now the animals are allowed to roam here, but that might not be the case after. Factions care if you ship vast amounts of garbage to third world countries for recycling. <laughs> right now they don't. Maybe they should. 
maybe humans should care more about that in general. Oh, hold on. I forgot. I want to make my little... My little tunnel here. So I don't remember the range on grenades. They're not super far, but not super close. I think if there's a door, say, here, they should easily be able to grenade that spot. Do I have any grenades around that I could test with? That shows up in the sidebar in any way. Let me make a little uh, stockpile zone right here. Or any kind of grenade. Critical priority. What do we do? If I want to make EMP grenades, it'd be here, right? EMP shell, EMP launcher. Oh, grenades, right here. Um, do until X. No, we don't have any. Okay. Where X is, say, two. Oh, that's true. We could have a roof where the pawns themselves are shooting. Because then if they won't get rained on if something happens. That's disappointing. Common room. Common room's incredibly impressive already. Very impressive. Extremely impressive. No, I think I will put it in the temple. Did I set this to make large? Did they change it to the large statues or actually... Oh, that's a grand one. That's why. Oh, I guess... Oh, that one was forced because of the mood. Okay. But I don't think I want to make grand. I think that was probably a misclick. I usually just make large. Launch. Or not launch, but load. Oh, I don't actually have enough. Never mind, cancel. Well, I mean, I could still launch uh, 20, but I may as well wait for the 25. Yeah, he did have inspiration, so I was like, all right, I'll get you to do the uh, Jade Sculpture now. Because I have this limiter set, you need at least 15 skill to start using Jade in the future. He's not quite there. But yeah, I think I allowed one. So it's a little disappointing that it didn't come out a little bit better, but... Okay, so yeah, I'm going to assume that here's kind of okay. So the plan is to do something like that, so I can open the door here, and I can have people stand on both sides as cover while fleeing. Oh, no, I was going to do it on this side, wasn't I? That's what I was going to do. Yeah, which I think, I still think is better. I'm just going to have some guns over here. Yeah. And I'm going to build some more. I don't think you need a door, you can fling grenades over a wall. Um, I don't think you can fling a grenade over a wall, but I know there is some funky things you can do. I believe there's some sort of kind of glitchy thing where, okay, if you do this, this is a closed thing. But I think if there's like an open door right there, I think if there's a door here and it's open, then I think there may be some abuse where you can like fire through there. I know you can melee diagonally, even though you can't walk through it. It's like one of the things you can do for like an interesting little kill spot. Um, I will get to the auto cannons, but I'm going to put them behind here rather than the flank. Now they have a min range. I wonder if I put them back here, could they accidentally shoot my people in the back of the head from here? Because they won't fire that close, but I wonder if they can still accidentally hit. So I was thinking of putting it, like, right behind here so that we don't really have that issue. I'm 
put these in, put these in the corners. I don't know, we do kind of want a straight line to this. I wonder if they'll have proper line of sight. I think from here they'll be okay. These two should hopefully have line of sight to there. Eleven turrets. We don't know anything about this person. They're Yadikin medic. Meh. Still thinking about going after the uh, mech meter compound, though. Did they remove diagonal melee? In? Oh, did they? Oh yeah. How about the defibrillator? You're right. Um. Why can't I can't see your radius. Is it covering the whole map? No. I mean, it's clearly reached here. I don't know why we're not getting the graph. What the? Oh my god! You absolute ass butt. The robots, uh, the new robot didn't get the, uh, the limited work area. We do have a lifter bot to rename. The stupid lifter bot. Who's the stupid lifter bot? Um, Twitch rewards Q name in game. Oh, we already have a banana commander. It's IT Pinden. IT Pinden. Bot. There we go. Robot didn't get the memo. So I mean, we're gonna get another cleaning bot as well. At least it shouldn't rando wander into the map before we restrict it because it's a cleaning bot. What an honor. <laughs> I knew that standing a little bit in front of the uh, auto cannon turrets would be fine. I just wasn't sure, like, if the auto cannon turrets were back here, but we're still in its minimum range, if that would be safe. But I'm placing it close here just as a way to uh, minimize the chance that something goes horribly wrong. All right, extra guns are up. Lovely. door there. So it might have to be a little tankier depending on what things happen. Um, I'm hoping these turrets will have line of sight over there. I guess I could have put them in the corners here. I think they'll be okay. We'll find out. I don't know if they're movable. No. Legendary work. Oh, legendary marble sculpture. We should probably just sell this. It's worth a thousand wealth. I mean, we don't get all of it in a trade thing, but that's insanely good. Yeah, legendary wealth increase. Exactly. Let's install a fire foam popper. Right here. So we get a mech with like an inferno cannon. Oh yeah, we can read the art. I'm so good about doing that in Dwarf Fortress. Less here. This carving illustrates uh, alligator receiving training for artistic skills while covered in sweat. Three grouses watch in amazement. A surgeon to the left of the main scene seems to express happiness. The work seems to represent safety. The representation tells the story of alligator becoming a master at artistic task on the first of August, 5503, which was literally nine days ago. It might have taken him that long to make the statue. Is it literally, like, from gaining a skill level? It's artistic. Probably hit 15 and then just dipped a little bit because of uh, decay. It was probably that. Yeah, they made a sculpture about themselves. I mean, wouldn't you? Wow, the selfie. Um, 
have some crafting to happen so we get our high explosive shells, because we should have the material for it. Uh, Valinator, I mean, you're sleeping, but if I told you to work here, oh, you're gonna shred mechanoids. I guess I could change the order, but I kinda do want them shredded first. Kid's still naked. Oh, that's true too! I think we need a second skilled crafter person. I suppose Alligator could take over. Maybe Alligator does this. Probably not a bad idea. Let me reset you there. Yeah, you're gonna make the kids romper. Excellent. There we go. High explosive shell. Uh, no, I don't think we can do anything with the animal skeletons in vanilla. I mean, I think we can still burn these corpses, but... We don't have a cremating thing set up. <laughs> Menace the spikes of bone. <laughs> I mean, kind of, yeah. How many days left in Biosculptor? Too long! 3.9 days. Finally get Doc Villain out of there. That was all that to like... I think it was repairing a scar and a missing toe or finger or something. I mean, we got some value out of it, I suppose. Still waiting on this. Marble tiles. I mean, hopefully we don't run into a limit. We can always cancel some of the rebuild, but... Two of these. No marble blocks being made. Oh, there's probably no marble within the work area. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. That's why we got so many idlers. I go and allow all this. There should be plenty of marble blocks to pick up. Starvation. Valinor. Well, go eat. Oh! Because of forced work. Hold on. There you go. Yeah, go eat, go eat some food, buddy. Let's get our, uh, let's get our, our kids to man the mortars. Because it's funny. Volcanic winter? That's going to be a little annoying. Oh, wait. The kids are going to freeze to death out here. Never mind. Sarge. I'll tell you what, just so that we can finish this, I'm gonna set a force target on that. We'll let the rest of the mechs just attack us. Complete miss! One kid's missing an LMG. That's true. <coughs> we do have an extra SMG. I don't know if we have more LMGs. And I'm not gonna build them. There we go! Alright, excellent. Come at me, bros. Yeah, that is some deforestation. Oh, this is a good tune. Right here. Oh, flame beard. Yeah, alright. Go and chill out somewhere. Go to there. Pikeman might even die on these traps, actually. There we are. <laughs> yeah, and the bots one going out too. Alright! Done and done. Rhyme's pretty miserable. Why are you consuming berries? I mean you can, I suppose, but. <laughs> there we go. More waste packs. Alright, so we are going to let our humans run, or adults rather, go wherever they want, and we will allow everything. This is mech bits and stuff over there. Yes, tunnel. Okay. I didn't want to take this down until this was uh, set up here. A we'll double wide tunnel going here. Hey, Quill, pay attention. There's a new subscriber. I'm going to triple wide it just because. You know what? I will. Just because. Hang on in one second. Let me do another steel door there. Might be a good candidate for auto dooring as well. Um, 
Who is that? Okay, so we got Bowen, Bowen Cormac resubbing with Prime. Escalator drop down with a brand new sub with Prime. Thank you very much. Van Harian, 30 months. 30 more months of LMG children. <laughs> Sivers with the nine month Twitch baby resub. Thank you. Sorry if I missed any. A little distractified with constructions. Do, 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 do. Um, zone, 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 zone. Go roof areas. There. Yeah, it's not toxic fallout, it's just volcanic winter. It's still annoying, but it's not going to be the end of the world. So this is going to be the EMP grenade critical stockpile. I guess I will just keep the two tons. I mean, I could put a shelf here too, but... Ooh. Trade ship combat spire. Nice. Uh, Sarge, if you could give him a little chat. Was calling in with the release of Dwarf Fortress. Maybe? I don't know what our timing is going to look like for all these things. Let's buy some components. The medicine situation is okay. Sell various weapons we don't care about. I sell this statue. I think that's fine. I don't think there's... Uh, I can't afford that. I could buy more barrels. That actually wouldn't be a terrible idea. I'm going to buy two more reinforced barrels. No, that's not a very useful gene pack. Banana wants a gun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I know, buddy. Tell you what, I'm just going to give you this uh, heavy SMG for now. Phoenix armor for the kitties. <laughs> so we're just dating our cleaner. Yes, we are. Baby food brought it away. Oh. I mean, we don't we don't actually have a proper refrigerator for that. That's fine. What if it's too heavy for my little arm? I know, right? It is a, literally called a heavy SMG. Well, no, can I get you to... Okay, Zapper's working on the door. Let's say. Getting the door up is going to be... Maybe more important than the walls. Oh, yeah. I guess I can queue up the deconstruction here. And we are going to want a light. Let's start here. Okay. I think... Let's go and raid that mechnator. Oh, age reversal. Vorty. Well, we'll see. I mean, we're going to have to make more of these. I mean, at least they are movable, which is great. It's still, oh, that's right. I'm still worried that it was kind of cold outside. And that might be hard for the raid, but I guess it's probably okay. All right, let's plan a raid on the uh, this site. One of the interesting thing with Randy is because it doesn't have the same like attack pattern as uh, Cassandra. There's no like wait until a raid and then go and and do your caravan because there's no guarantee. Oh, we joy cycled by between the colonists first. Right, right, right. I'll try to remember. Okay, we could consider bringing all everyone here. Um, everyone with like ranged weapons. But I think we'll leave a few behind. Like, Vordy, we might leave behind because he's complaining about things anyway. And we still have Doc in the box. We can't forge it all. Tell you, uh, yeah, I'll leave... Oh, okay, maybe it's Valinor. Anyway, I'll leave Vordy and Valinor behind. That's going to be okay. We are going to... So that is six people. There you go. Oh, that's a cow. <laughs> oh, I guess I don't have... Oh! Duh, it's because I'm not clicking right. Four, five, six. There we go. I mean, some of these are pregnant, but that's fine. Um... Rhino horse armor. Apparently we're bringing baby food. I mean, I guess our people can eat baby food. But that does seem a little bit weird. Do we not have survival meals ready to go? Ow! 
Hang on. I think we need, do we need meat for these? I don't remember, I don't know if our people care about insect meat. Yeah, insect meat is fine. I mean, we don't have any. Maybe we just do a little hunting here. By little, I mean a fair bit, actually. Okay, Flamebeard is on hunt. There we go. They're going to go and do that. Yeah, we have good shooting. Then we have a good SMG, not Masterwork or Legendary. Probably should upgrade your weapon. There you go. Meat going. And then for cooking, okay, we've got a few people with it enabled. Mostly it's supposed to be Doc Villain's job, but he's still in a box. Oh, a clean sweeper just cleaned up the, the children's drawing. Yep, green check mark next to human meat. Absolutely. Non-traditional offer. What? Sorry, I just moved my toe. Oh, that hurt. Oh, that hurt so much. Don't do that, Quill. Nearby settlement, a special trade request. They would like 12 tribal headdresses of normal plus quality. Archives. These are used for some of the, um, the genetics. Also, legendary recon helmet is kind of amazing. Oh, I think we have to say yes to this. <clears throat> I just don't know if we want the arcade capsules or the freaking legendary recon helmet. I think, I think we're gonna have to go with this. That's insane. Yeah, I'm gonna accept for that. Okay, 12 tribal headdresses. Why not alphabetical? Need my mods. So, uh, we're gonna say do until X. Oh, yeah, I got where X is 12. They have to be at least normal quality. We might be hurting a little on material for a bit. I did sell a bunch of cloth. Although we're about to get some leather. Oh no! They don't want leather, they want wool. Mm. Yeah, it actually might be difficult for us to complete that. As it turns out. And yeah, we're already getting a lot of uranium from the other quests, so I don't need it as badly there. Maybe I don't want to actually leave right now, because we could use some extra construction however. Oh yeah, the marble tiles. Are the marble tile jobs being done? Because, I mean, craft is on for everyone. I guess they're just not idle enough. Because there is marble all over on the map. Might be a good time to just designate some to be hauled in here. We probably do have a good amount of Devil's Grand, that's true. We're going to use in the second trimester. Thrombo Fur wasn't enabled on that job because it... Uh, hold on, I might be wrong about that. Is Thrombo Fur a wool? No. Thrombo Fur, I think, is, uh, counts as a leather. Not a wool, so we won't consume it for that. I guess I could turn on Devil Strand, but... I know we've got a lot of Devil Strand, but it still seems like such a waste. I'm not sure a woolly rhino by any chance. That would be great if we could, yeah, just sheer Bunisher. Need recreation variety. Well, we did unlock um, the harp. I don't remember where we build it. I don't think it's here. I think maybe at the smithy? Yeah, let's make a harp and we can install it. Let's see, there's Coon Sweep. We'll, uh... In the so-called work area. High finger fillet table. <laughs> Sharing a rhino sounds painful. <laughs> All right. Lots of wood kicking around, although it's not for the flooring. Actually, yeah, the outside, all the wood we needed is done. We could probably do a little bit of canceling here to save some time. 
cold snap. All right, so it's winter volcanic winter cold snap. Rip plants. Can we death mode edit our ideology to make rhinos venerated? You know what? I think you're right. I think we should do that. You know, semi pretending we're a fluid ideology. Um, I might hesitate a bit for now because. Okay, man, I have thermia. Let's stay inside a warm area there, buddy. Do you have clothes on you? Yeah, you'd have a romper, but that's it. Um, with only one, that actually probably isn't enough to satisfy our people. Okay, uh, Vorti and Kirmudu. Can I. What if you selected? Can I right click? Okay, no, that's. Gotta wait for the nutrition to be loaded. There you go. So, pleasure cycle is really short. I mean, all the. The age reversal is really short, too, at four days. I think we can just throw them into the age reversal immediately. And that's going to be okay. Right? Because I think the the idea with with the pleasure cycle is it's short, it binds you, and then it reduces the other times afterwards or something like that. But yeah, I'll just go age reversal immediately. Yeah, if we hit... I think it's minus 10 a lot of the plants die. So I don't know. I guess we'll... Uh, We'll see about getting a harvest going. Yeah, all these potatoes. Oh, there they go. Yeah, just hit minus 10. Womp womp. I think Banana Cabana dropped their gun outside. See? Can't trust kids. Children are terrible. And you can quote me on it. I'm sure you will, actually. Also in RimWorld... Duration of pleasure is slightly less than 24% of bioregen you save by being bound. Other kids made fun of my baby gun. <laughs> oh, you weren't happy because you didn't have the same gun as everyone else? If yeah, you got a grown-up gun, isn't that more special? Now, frostbite can be a thing for the animals, but the animals have a pretty big comfort range. Uh, well, minus 10 is the lowest comfortable, so it could happen, but... I don't think it's going to be that critically cold. So the best serving crew weapons. Yeah. Okay. Make a harp is done. So... Where did the harp go? Oh, gonna... oh there it is. So I'm going to have to make a stockpile thing. I'm going to throw a harp in here. So that people can play that as a different type of recreation. We can melt the cows for ice cream. <laughs> Put them on some sort of like vibrating cable so that they get milkshake. Love, I can play the harp for those that are working. Yeah! A little bit of music going on. It's gonna be lovely. Flame beard's got extreme break risk, huh? Psychite withdrawal. I'm sorry! I guess the tea's finished. That's too bad. No, it is pretty chilly in here, you're right. This is grumpy. Just... The thermia, but it's not there. Yeah, this room's cool too. People are spending a lot of time in there. All right, let's get some more heaters. Your rim world shakes bring all the boys to the yard. Our wealth brings all the boys to the yard. That's the problem. I'm sure. Not already. back. Load that in. Go go. Seek safe temperature. What's it in here? Yeah, minus 16. Rhyme pen dragon on the tantrum. They're gonna go smash things in their room. Yeah. I mean, could be worse. I'll get a heater in here. I'm not actually sure that it's going to be able to stop it from being too cold, but maybe at least fight off some of the hypothermia. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, yeah, the doors are open. That's true, too. We can probably turn that off now. Or at least for now. We might, um, like, tweak and reset. Okay, so it's going through there and there and there. That was a couple of reasons. One, to provide more bait for raiders, and two... Um, just to minimize, you know, walking time, but yeah, close that door now. 
That wasn't, I mean, it, this heater wasn't doing anything with that door open. That was the only place where it was really causing us problems. Because this door was closed, that door was closed, I think. Minus eight, minus seven. I'm still gonna build that one. All right, Rhyme, how's it going there? All right, you smash things. Rhyme's got pretty good melee. I don't know if that affects like how competent they are at smashing things or not. Should probably floor these rooms, actually. You know what? It's time. Although, hold on, no, I kind of want the marble blocks for this. Smash the power cable. Hold on, so need rescue. Oh. Rescue banana right away. Wait, they actually look like they're bleeding. Oh, because you lost some toast to frostbite. Banana not having a great time. Oh, that door's held open as well. I tried to get you to go to bed earlier. That's fine. Maybe I should just restrict everyone to, like, warmer zones. Oh, yeah, and it's not hot enough in these bedrooms. Despite having some heaters shared, it's just not enough. Check the animals. Yeah, a little bit of hypothermia. The cold snap doesn't tend to last that long. But the combo with the volcanic winter plus cold snap... Because we actually have, like, you know, this was year-round growing area. We're not prepared for this level of cold. Mm -hmm. Actually, I guess what I could do is zoom way out. Yeah, make sure nothing's on held open. But I don't see any open doors anymore. Silverfish, thanks for the five gift subs. Thank you. Yeah, I guess, um... Catatonic Breakdown? From the Psychite Withdrawal. First you go and smash up... Actually, I guess it was Rhyme that was smashing things. Yeah, we do have two people who are addicted. Yeah, I guess, um... Child Parkas. Do until X, where X is one. Yeah, maybe we'll, we'll go and throw some of that. Yeah, you're gonna be fine. But yeah, I don't think we're gonna go raiding right now. Breakdowns rarely last more than a decade or so. The Catatonia one. Mm -hmm. Alright. It's warm-ish indoors, and we're still working on a few heaters. My snow boots. Um, did you maybe get treated? Also, what's happening with the doctoring? There you go. I'm afraid my three-year-old just saw the screen and said your colony isn't very pretty. Said something about broken all your roofs. <laughs> Our last couple of colonies were gorgeous. The cat cafe. The western run. Uh, oh yeah, you're right. We need a vent. Over there, and over there. Okay. Oh, they weren't patienting high enough. Potentially bed resting high enough either. All right. 14 outside. There you go, five in here, which, like, you know, isn't thrilling, but, yeah. No more hypothermia problems. I don't think this room needs to be warmed. I mean, people spend time in the pods, but they don't spend that much time at the Neural Supercharger, I don't think. Um, I think Kerminu wanted the Age Reversal. Yeah. So again, I'll just do that. And Doc Villain's out and about. That's great. Uh, I might... Yeah, I guess I'll turn off the Doc Ring for Rhyme Pendragon. Get Doc to focus on things. There we go. Done and done. Sorry, Quill. Having gifted exactly 69 subs to the channel, I'm afraid I'll have to retire from gifting indefinitely. Oh man, Silverfish, I understand. I get it. <laughs> wall Lights mod is updated. I know. I love the Wall Lights mod so much. Do we literally. I guess. Oh! With all the extra heaters, we don't have enough power. 
Three geothermals, no longer enough. Oh, and I guess these uh, pods actually take a fair amount of power. That's true. All right, where's our next one? I mean, I know we have one in our kill box. We got one there. This is what I really need to search for. A thir search for the geothermal. Oh, in the plant field, that's right. Yeah, which I think I'm just gonna go and right there. I mean, there is one in the kill box, but yes. We'll plop that down. It's unfortunate that it's on some of the, the rich tiles, but what are you gonna do? Supercharge is taking me more. There's a search now, actually, in dev mode. Hmm. Oh, that's true. Do that to sort of highlight them. But I need like I need a, a colorblind mod like I have for the minerals, but for the vents. That's what I need. So yeah, we never really need to mine out this uranium ore because we're we've got we're theoretically going to get so much as a reward. Although we do need to seriously finish this. I wonder if I should turn up the priority on crafting so that these blocks get made a little faster here. Or just, you know, queue up fewer things for people to be doing so that they actually get down to their the default little crafty job over here. Go Frenzy. Oh, that's always very nice. up, need a meal, moving floor. Can you prioritize working on this geothermal generator? That's interesting. Why would they prioritize removing the floor? Deconstructing and removing floor is normally really low priority. Huh. Well, I mean, whether or not someone is, like, going out here to haul a chunk, which, first of all, it is mapped to haul. Whether someone's walking out here to haul a chunk and bring it back, and then someone else is grabbing it from the stockpile for crafting, or someone who's wanted to carve a block runs out here and does that, so it's the same total amount of time. Freaking, freaking babies. Maybe I should restrict them. Hang on, they're restricted to walled areas? I'm gonna restrict all the kids to indoor areas. Cause they're too dumb. Too dumb. Here, banana, you can go and grab that. Oh, someone already picked it up. We do have steel, don't we? Oh! That was the issue. We didn't actually have steel. We burned through all of it already? That's why it's doing this. Oh, shit. Okay, well. I think we're doing some mining. Presumably on Zapper. Uh, you're probably constructing first. Never remember to bring down your construct. So you mine first. Wow. Because we just traded for like a thousand, but yeah, that really added up here. Okay. And then all the heaters. There's a mod called Ore Overlay, which in addition to highlighting ore similar to colorblind mode, also highlights steam vents. Hang on. Rimworld or Overlay. Oh, and is it na it's an actual overlay, like a button over here? So we don't always have the, the garish uh, colors? Okay. And yet, we do have the uh, deep ground scanner. I don't know. I don't want to look at the deep drill. Did we ever find... Nope. I don't think we've actually found anything on the deep drill yet. Because right now, it would highlight this. Hell, we don't even have enough steel to build the deep drill. We need another trading thing happening. Yeah, I'll probably stop to that switch to that overlay one, especially with the uh, the vent overlay. That's really cool. Yeah, there is a steel mining site nearby. 
I'm still hoping to get, uh, did our survival meals get made? No? Why not? We hunted? What happened to the meat? Oh, it hasn't been butchered yet. What, what is going on? Why are you not cooking? Why are you calling, Doc? Oh, because I still have Hall set to one. Thank you. That was supposed to be a temporary thing. I forgot to bring it down. There we go. That's why a lot of this isn't happening right. Okay. Sarge needs a death rest. Ah! I guess we're not raiding with you. Alright, go ahead. At least we have the death rest accelerator now. And now we don't have enough power for this. Okay, let's turn off... Um, let's turn off the power to the smelter, because it's quite expensive. And here... There we go. Still short. What else should I turn off for now? Oh, can I kill the power to this? I guess that's true, huh? We have hungry pan animals. That is actually going to be a huge issue. Because, unfortunately, our hay harvest got killed at an awkward time here. Interesting, it is, it is plus 10. We still have snow on the ground. I can probably turn off the heaters now. I mean, they won't be using much heat anymore, but I'm going to turn them off anyway. So they don't even consume, like, the trickle power. Alright. So we're now good on power. Um, you haven't actually used any steel. I'm going to leave this job sitting as is. There we go. Butchering is happening. Hopefully we can get some grass growth soon. Oh, I'm gonna hold open this door again, actually. I can't move you out of there, it's out of range. Someone walk up here, through this door. Not that there's anything to graze on the other side yet, but at some point. <gasps> Ooh! Ooh, okay, two things just happened. First of all, Anima Tree Linking is available. We would like to use it on Doc Villain for a level four skill. Oh, this music is awesome, what a banger. But then also, Grumpy Oldie's got a growth moment. All right, Grumpy Oldie has reached the biological age of seven, experienced a growth moment. Recently shown boundless enthusiasm for the coming months, Grumpy Oldie likes learning about helping funny mechanoids, but he's happiest when drawing pictures of imaginary friends on the floor. Grumpy Oldie is now old enough to do the following things, but I was gonna say, I think we also, yes, we're gonna get to choose some traits for Grumpy Oldie. Out of these, I feel like Tup is probably the best. You take half damage for everything, that's amazing. Beautiful is very helpful. But for a trait, we're gonna grab Tough. For skills to be passionate, I think it's an excellent idea for crafting. I think I do kind of agree with that. I'm worried about crafting and shooting. Lazy seems appropriate, given the name. Well, he's grumpy oldie. He's not necessarily lazy. If he could get abrasive. Cooking so Doc doesn't have to cook? Yeah, but Doc... I don't think Doc does that much. I think Doc dockers and cooked. We could use another dedicated maybe crafter. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm going to do this. All right. Grumpy oldie. Yeah, there's more things you can do. Interesting. Ah, you can't smith. You're too young to smith, but you can tailor. So I think that might be what happens, actually. Alligator, I'm going to turn this off. That's the wrong person. I'm going to do this. Now, you don't have any skill for it right now. You're at a zero. Oof, that is actually kind of a little rough. Um, can I train Grumpy Oldie on something? 
Well, we could craft blocks. The problem is crafting blocks doesn't um, doesn't actually give you skills. Doesn't use your skills, doesn't give you skills in vanilla. All right, the parents will eventually die, get double skills. Yeah, that's true. Um, it's smithing and tailoring that actually gives you skill in the crafting skill. I don't think smoke leaf uses it. It might. I think everything that gets used as craft doesn't actually use skill, but I might be wrong about that. Stone cutting, smelting, and more. It says low skilled labor. I don't think it uses it. Make wooden knives. That's interesting. Smoke leaf is cooking, but needs craft enabled to do. But yeah, wooden knives, yeah, whittling for practice is very interesting. Um, presumably that could still be done at the smelter. You could do a craft. Oh, no, maybe not. If I just plop down a crafting spot. No, knives can't be mad at woods. Presumably clubs could. Maybe that'll just do that. And I think... Yeah, okay. Clear this. Wooden clubs. Um, I could make it so that only one worker does it here. Presumably this is still a smithing job. So I guess what I'm going to do is just turn off Valinor's smithing, although we may have to toggle this when um, uh, when one of the mechanoids needs work because that's a smithing task. Oh, shit, you can't smith! I forgot about that. Our child can't smith yet. Never mind. Dang it. So it would be throwaway clothes, which we don't really have. I mean, I guess you could train up on the tribal headdresses. I'll put this at the top, but specify that only Grumpy Oldie is allowed to work on these. So when Grumpy Oldie wants to do a tailoring job, they'll look at the top of it and just start on tribal headdresses. When someone else wants to do a tri uh, tailoring job, they'll skip that and do something where we actually care about the skill of it. Okay. No, no, it, Grumpy can't make the knives because they can't do smithing. That was the problem, it has turned out, Halco. The problem isn't that we're, we're trying to restrict someone from not doing knives. It's the problem that Grumpy can't do it at all because apparently you have to be 13 to work at the smithy. Now, these tribal headdresses technically need to be at least normal quality to sell. So we're probably going to make a lot of shitty ones along the way. I could set a, a minimum skill. I mean, and that is true. I was like, oh, what if it stops you from doing things? But I guess that might be the easiest thing is like skill one or maybe five on these just to make sure that they're for no reason does grumpy oldie ever start on one of these it might be fine on the kids stuff because we're just letting them use like non-expensive clothing or non-expensive material in fact i might be fine with this let kids make stuff for kids Ooh, parka actually because it's an outer layer thing with the parka i might actually be fine with leaving everything on, but I will put a minimum skill limit there. Doc Villain! What did you get? What is your new superpower? Skip. That's lets you teleport someone. Doesn't do it very far. You could like skip Bunisher into combat. <laughs> well, we can we burn the uh, the clothing um, over here. So I think I should rename these actually. Uh Destroy apparel tainted. Uh, this is smelt apparel uh, tattered. This is smelt apparel tainted. I don't know if we actually have a uh, 
this one here is Smelt Apparel Biocoded. Yeah, if we run out of storage, what I might do is just start, like, just put a destroy on here for anything that is less good than normal. Now, yeah, I mean, this is turned off currently. The power's off, which is fine. Although we probably have enough power now. But we'll turn this back on. I don't know about these two. I'll leave these off for now. Yeah, these animals are starving. Yeah, I should probably do a, um, a bit of a call to bring things down as much as possible. Um, okay, we have a female and male cow. Well, the other way around. Uh, we're going to leave those. I'm going to butcher the others. Actually, yeah, let me flag everything. Obviously, not Punisher. Let me flag everything to be butchered here as well. And then... I'm going to keep this foal and this mare as a breeding pair. But yeah, we're going to trim this down so the tiny and microscopic amounts of grass that are going to grow here under the poor light of the volcanic winter will hopefully feed the rest. I have an auto slaughter set up, but it, it's set up to be a higher number. So I was like, you know what? I'll just manually do a big cull here and then let them grow back to auto slaughter range afterwards. Flame beard. You don't have a weapon. Um, put that heavy SCG, please. Ski, here, you can have your light machine gun back. Benetic mana. Hasn't proved that they can carry a weapon yet, so. I do want to go and raid that steel site, but I'm still a little concerned about things. Raid? Group of Neanderthals from Kilthor have arrived. Uh, ooh, these are breachers. Ooh, there's a lot of them too. Holy shit. Okay, so they're mostly primitives. They do have breach axes, though. Uh, Mex, here, stay indoors for a bit. And Chillin, they're still set to indoors. Everyone else. Get you out here. Although the Breachers, they might be punching through this wall here. Because they're trying to take a direct path, I think. Although, I mean, this is fairly open... Oh, one of them's running backwards. Falling? Oh, you actually follow other people? Interesting. Yeah, they're attacking Wooden Door. They're probably going to be attacking here. I wonder if I can... Yeah, move around. Maybe all my range people. Oh, Flamebeard's really in a cranky mood. And Kermino's in pot as well. Oh, yeah, actually, a lot of people are in a pod. Or travels they can't hurt Punisher. I mean, it's probably true, actually. Oh, hey, Essentia. Okay, these wooden doors actually are smashing down a lot faster than expected. Um, covers for the week. Covers for people who don't have rhinos. Wow, shit. Those breach axes. Are they seriously one shotting those walls? Wow. All right. I think that was some friendly fire. No, it's not. Wait, you got bruised three times and fell down, Rhyme Pendragon? You got bruised three times. Seriously, that is uh, disappointing. Drunk Shooter's being hit a bunch. Dirt in the eye, oh boy. Maybe see if I can convince people to break aggro on Drunk Shooter.
thump, 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 thump. I do love the sound of that. Alright, oh, I should use the blind. That's what I forgot about. That, yeah, I was like, I don't think the skip is necessarily, although, oh, I could have skipped some of the safety. Uh, I should have remembered that. But I forgot about my psychic blind. It's been too long. Do you maybe rescue someone rather than play hoopscotch? No wigglers. Three axes deal 7x damage. Wow, that's crazy. Punisher wants to know how many kills Punisher has. That's an interesting question. Five. Three versus human likes. Doc, instead of playing Hoopstone, could you maybe, yeah, tend to some injured people? Including our injured Rhino? Just saying. There we go, use herbal medicine. I think he used an industrial medicine first. And then resting. Um, I really do need a second passionate doctor. Can you skip skip someone's safety or skip a rhino in combat. Yeah, I should have. Uh, I should have skipped someone away from being meleeed there. Hang on. Rather than feeding someone, go tend to a bunisher here. Uh, not using any medicine at all, huh? Hang on. For bunisher. We can, I'm gonna enable literally everything. You did. Uh, the thing is, um, um, herbal medicine was enabled. Oh, maybe we don't have any herbal medicine. That's possible. I was gonna say maybe it was it was such a minor wound that it we're like, well, we don't even need anything. But yeah, everyone is set was set to glitter world again, but because I've got pharmacy, but maybe I'll limit it to industrial. Breach axe didn't even breach my skin. Yep. You are tougher than a limestone wall. It is known. I think plasteel walls can handle like two hits. Well, I think from the, th the thermite mechs, a plasteel wall can handle two hits. Everything else is dead in one. So none of it really matters. I don't think we can make walls tough enough to handle breaches. What I can do in a few areas is just set up some little, like, defensive zones in a few, you know, random places with some uh, barricades or sandbags or something. Which, it's probably time. We're probably going to get more drop pod raids, more uh, breach raids. Yeah, I should set up some little defensive structures inside my base. Should be okay, no emergencies or anything like that. Tending is happening. But yeah, if we get another child that like actually can get passion for uh for medicine, that would be great. Oh, that's true. This can be open. Thank you. Yeah. Zapper, I'm just gonna get you to run through here for a sec. There we go. Yeah, good reminder. Uh one of the new expanded mods of breach resistant well, walls probably only by your time career, yeah. Well, it's not an actual trade caravan, it's just some visitors, so they're not going to have much. We have some more little debris that could be hauled in a little closer, I suppose. Okay. Is this going to be turned off now? Ambrosia sprout. So many ambrosia sprout! It's just, just Randy. Is this what Randy does sometimes? Just trying to get us all, like, stoned out of our gourds? Time to go raining, maybe, but we just had some injuries. And it's still cold. 
And we got a couple people in the pod. I mean, at this point, we're almost always going to have someone in some sort of biopod, so I guess that's not as much of an issue. Meat's back on the menu. Yeah, no, I can't really squat with the broken toes. Unfortunately. Thanks for thinking about it, Juna. And I don't know if it's broken or just very badly sprained. But it hurts. I'll tell you that. I'm not going to rebuild the uh, transport pod because we don't really have any steel right now. Thinking, um... Actually, you know what? I clearly can't... Can I not just stop this? Can't cancel? Let's say we're not going to be able to build the recon armor right now, presumably because of the lack of material. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off these research things. Because then people will run the ground penetrating scanner instead. Pistol squat. Uh, some of you might be able to do pistol squats. I can't. That's the one we've got like one leg sticking out for, right? And you're just doing the squats on one leg? Yeah, that. No. I definitely won't be able to do that. <laughs> I could do some, uh, I guess like, I can probably do some crunches. That's probably the best option, but I don't think I'm going to do that right now. Does Treat Stream have bionic legs? That would be lovely. Grumpy Oldie making some panoxiclin. Yeah, which I think is just a crafting job, which, sure, yeah. Or not, you're making, yeah, you're making panoxiclin. Ambrosia binge, because of psychic withdrawal. Oh, these druggies. Is there any in, well, in RimWorld? There are actually multiple victories um, that you can pursue. Um, so in the, the basic game, you could build a spaceship to escape. Um, there's also um, a friendly spaceship on the map that you can take a long, long trip to get to. Uh, with royalty, there's the ability to um, join the Imperial uh, group. That's a victory condition. Uh, ideology added the, um, the Arco Nexus victory path. Making drugs, yeah. Kids, it's not cool to do drugs, but it is cool to make drugs. It's okay, panoxiclin, that's just our, uh, those are just our, uh, our vaccines. Volcanic winter is annoying. It's not so cold that plants aren't growing, but they do have reduced light. What's our victory goal? Well, with this one, are we're kind of making our own victory goal. Our, our goal for our people here is to just like transcend humanity as hard as possible through genetics, through bionics, and by having robot pets. I do have to raid that other robot spot. Is it time to go? I suppose. Major break risk. Drunk shooter. What's wrong with you? Oh, you also have the psychite withdrawal. Yeah. Well, it's, not, it's not my fault that all the plants died. Okay. I would like to raid this site. It's not far. Don't have to bring the animals. We have we have survival meals now, so that's good. Um, we're not gonna bring the children. I'm not gonna bring Drunk Shooter because he's about to snap. I'm gonna bring this group. And yeah, we don't have. Oh, I can ride this mare. Okay, we'll bring that. We'll speed us up a little bit. There you go. Package survival meals and some potatoes. Sure. Medicine bed rolls. All right. And then Randy's going to do something horrible to us. Because that's the way it's going to go. Uh, it's not. We're not raiding a, a mining site. We're raiding a site where there's a downed uh, mech nader for a mech link. We're not going to raid... I want the steel as well. But yeah, raiding the steel site without more animals is going to be a problem. Okay, as expected, Drunk Shooter was going to have a breakdown. Picking out is fine. Can you sell people in the Bioscope pod the time to withdraw out? That's a good question. Maybe. But yeah, we're just raiding this ancient Mechanator complex. Maybe I should have EMPs. Mm -hmm. oh, I haven't had coconut. Well, actually, okay. Technically, I did have a Diet Cola uh, yesterday because we ordered we ordered some food and I got a can of Diet Cola. But um, I actually haven't had any in the house for some time. Okay. That's Valinor. 
So if I do this, and then unrecruit Valinor. The next baby be born in a field. I've had uh, babies be born uh, on a caravan. Yeah, I left Kiraminu behind. Ancient detoxifier generator. Attack to, to destroy. Okay. Ooh. Blue. Very pretty. I'm sort of treating this like the other ancient complexes. It's a great charger. Mechanator casket found. We'll open it to find them inside. So presumably a dead body is going to pop out. And we'll be able to remove something, but let me just go deconstruct this first. Okay. Detritus. Chris, that's Rhyme Pendragon. Yeah, I think Rhyme just broke out of stuff, right? Yeah, you got the catharsis, you're gonna be fine. Can I deconstruct you? I don't think so. I just wanna stay away from that. just fall asleep? Okay. I thought he was, like, knocked out from something from opening this up. Extract mech link. Okay. Ambush. Okay. Some mechs. Oh, is this a fuel cell? Shit. I mean, I could just leave, but I don't want to. Oh, they can open the doors, because I guess it's their compound. That makes sense. I'm trying to make it to some cover over here. Swing and miss. Good. Oh, they can just outrange me here. Shit, that's, that's not good. No! Did you seriously just get one shot? And it wasn't shooting at Doc either, it was shooting at Zapper. Missed him and just exploded Doc Villain's brain? Can you shoot through fences? Answer is apparently yes. Part of me wants to run, but a bigger part of me wants revenge. Like, there's no reason this should have been bad at all. I think that was just the world's luckiest shot. Fuck. Yeah, right through the helmet. How good of a... Yeah. Excellent steel flak helmet. Holy crap. Yeah, shot in the face. And no face covering. Deroot first. The mech link is still there. We're going to be able to take it when we leave. Take it 
take the mass work gun too. Oh yeah, you are gonna snap here, Flamebeard. And a blight. Listen, Randy. Not down, man. That was not a good time. Oh, right. Although these things are connected to the outside, so it should be okay. I think because I claimed it. No, no, I'm still the homeless. Cut out the fires. Oh, yeah. Don't get exploded by that one. Good. But yeah, you won't be overheated or anything, so. Yeah. We'll look at that mission later. There you go. Throw a tantrum. It's fine. Okay. Hey, DMI Dynamo. Healer Mexstrom is really good. Five man hunting cats. Oh. I mean, we could totally do that. I want to wait. It's 1.6 days. I want to wait to accept it for as long as we can. Are there stone blocks I'm deconstructing? Yes, I don't need you. Notice the doors are marble, not steel. Oh, that's interesting. Cancel those. Well, it's not a Resurrector Serum. It's a Healer Serum. Yeah. The right areas are stone? Oh, you're right. Oh, yeah, I can see the pattern now. Thank you. Boy, you guys have some good vision. I can't believe frickin' Doc died like that. Now we don't have a now we don't have a good doctor. Oh, that's stone walls as well. How do you even see this shit? Road should be collector. Oh, we found some underground steel. I mean, you and eventually, although we still need 100 steel to start, but. Dude. No, I really just need to get this big. I'll leave enough to be able to move it after to the other spot. Doesn't even need to be roofed. I just want it like that just to dissuade random people from going and smashing it. Poor Doc, he will be missed. Or eaten, then missed. Well, I don't think we're going to haul his body back. Oh, I forgot. You need a mod for them to actually use their freaking um, bedrolls when they're in a remote area like this. Because they have these wonderful bedrolls they could be using to sleep. Ooh, the ring. I didn't need to remove all these rooms, as it turns out. We do have some other people with cooking turned on. Oh, there's another room over here. Ambush. I thought I still... Oh. What? So there's a raids arriving, but apparently there can also be more random ambushes. Oh, it's a single Militor. Okay. Oh! No, there's more. 
All right, you know what? Screw this space. I didn't realize there would still be random shit happening. So, yeah. Mechlink. I mean, it feels like we should bring Doc back and eat him. If we can. Okay, that's kind of our mass max. Well, we have to bring this, obviously. Hold on. All the tainted stuff. Oh, this one's here still worth some money. You know, I'd rather bring the mechs than, than Doc. Yep. Because we can tear these down for some stuff. That's more valuable than Doc. <laughs> Need the corpse of the funeral. Psst, we don't run funerals. We can. We do actually have that as a thing, but <laughs> we haven't yet. We just butcher all the corpses. Okay. Oh, I have to but bury them. Well, the corpse doesn't exist anymore. So I don't think we're going to get the unburied corpse because it doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, I haven't accepted the uh, the other res or, um, healer serum yet. But I think I will. I mean, that's that quest here. It's going to expire in 24 hours. Just kind of want to wait as long as possible because it's going to kill our power when it starts. So we really have to go and do the raid immediately. I don't think we've got any hay. Oh, yeah, no kibble yet. I think with the cats, it'd be better off, like, sending our mailers. Which, speaking of... That's what I might do. I might just send Drunk and Alligator. Uh, if I can find Alligator's melee weapon. Oh, it's still here. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. All right, because five man hunting cats, and obviously we're gonna bring Bunisher with us. Maybe I'll bring one person with a gun. Sarge, I'll bring Sarge. Now, before I go, I'm just gonna make our, sure our work things are reasonable again. We still have two cooks over here. And yeah, for doctoring, I mean, it's going to have to be Rhyme, and I'll probably enable Sarge as well, even though they're kind of shit at it. At least they're going to go on the thing. Okay. Um, world. Oh, I accepted the quest, but it hasn't actually spawned yet. Right. Sight appeared. Oh, super close. So yeah, we're going to bring Drunk, Alligator, Sarge, Bunisher. It's too bad we can't ride you. We'll bring this mare as well, so we can move a little faster. And maybe we can pack some stuff on there. That's going to be okay. Um. Oh, we didn't unpack the survival meals. That's okay. You know what? Bring the baby food. You're going to be fine. Price's beliefs. So yeah, we don't have anything to do with the healer serum currently, but I think it heals like all kinds of things, right? Oh, it even creates new limbs or organs? Wow, that is really healing. Okay. Doesn't bring anyone back from the dead, but otherwise. Come on, let's go. We need to get our power back. And yeah, some meat is rotting because we only freeze so much of it, which I'm fine with. Hundred and one months sad rhino noises. Oh, Bunisher! Hey, I missed it. My sub updated midstream. Hundred and one months. Woo! Bunisher, thank you. Grow my arm back, maybe. Okay, seriously, what the hell? Go. The thing is, they're gonna now they're gonna leave the map and immediately go to bed.
I guess it's fine. Now, drunk's in a little bit of a cranky mood, too. Please go away. I want my crops to grow properly. Based on the table in the wiki, the only thing Healer Mexerum can't fix is Loose Fury Addiction. Oh, neat. <laughs> I suggest we rename the prisoners Stumpy and Bob. Oh, we can't rename them, unfortunately. But yeah, the, for those of you who don't know, one of these prisoners um, is for Sarge to drink from, because Sarge is a vampire, and the other prisoner we take hemogen packs out of. Um, both of them have had their legs removed. So that they can't run away. It causes problems. All right. Yeah, we'll bunch up here. Come at us, cats. Nice little bridge here. Oh, wait, yeah, I forgot. We should make sure that Drunk Shooter and Alligator are in front of Sarge Dragonus, so Sarge can keep firing. Hey, area is safe. Do epic fight between Punisher and cats. Yeah, for some reason I had my money on the giant rhino in that one. I don't know why. But it seemed kind of reasonable. I don't think this explodes. Oh shit. This time it's gonna explode. Oh. I don't think it did any damage, though. Might have just been a cosmetic explosion. I don't know. Uh, new contract. Okay, hold on. First, reform caravan. Go home. Bring all that, yeah. Components, steel, plasteel. I suppose I could even bring some slag chunks to smelt down. I'm not going to bother about the urns and things. Yeah, I'm okay with this. Structures all cosmetics or EMP explosions never dangerous. Okay. Oh, yeah. Contract prison. Okay, they have 11 prisoners. Wants us to watch over them for a day. The prisoners have a paid rescue contract with some. They'll send Yatikin. There'll be two raids of roughly this size. I mean, that's a pretty serious raid. I don't care about the legendary revolver. Shield belt would actually be kind of nice for our melee people. I don't really need a Zeus hammer. Honestly, while I think we can kind of do this quest, I'm not sure how useful this is. Well, Farscape does let us like teleport people from like far away, right? That was kind of nice. Oh wait, Berserker Pulse is insanely good. It's an AOE that turns a group of enemies berserk so they hit kill each other. Yeah, I gotta go and accept this. Plus we can give a hand talent to someone. Can we handle this? Okay, I got a couple of days, well, actually five days, to accept. We're obviously going to need more... I mean, I can just throw a bunch of people on the ground. That's fine. They have a paralytic Basia, so they're not going to be moving around. Yeah, those are some strong side trainers. Okay, wait for the caravan to come back. We still have some people in cranky mood, which sucks. Agri! Hey, thanks for the resub. Wait, the quest is going to provide us with mercs? Oh, I missed that. Why would I ever read? Oh, down here! Eight mercenary gunners are placed under control. Oh, shit, yes. Okay, yeah. Get everyone inside and like a resting thing. Ooh. Sarge, okay, I'll let you eat. Uh, oh, Ski was coming over to play with this. Alright, buy components. I don't want to buy more medicine actually. Mm. 
sell the ambrosia. That'll be it. All right. A shield belt. I haven't spent all our money recently. Oh no, my human meat. I'm actually a little annoyed that the mechs didn't. Oh, the mechs were set to indoors. That may have been part of it. I'll open up to the work area. At least for now. Oh, council. Right, I always forget about these powers. Cancel the effect of a sad memory. There you go. Canceling a minus 20. Cancel that. Couldn't cancel your psychic withdrawal, but I guess maybe there's no way to do that. But there you go. Plus 20 over there. Still doing a few repairs here now that we can go out there. It's actually raining. Good. So we don't have to worry about the fire. We have a call for mech enoid. construct something, but I don't think I want to. And yeah, we did mine out everything here except the uranium. And I don't think there's anything likely to be hidden here. I could make some little like, exploratory little money, mining things, but I would be very surprised. I suppose it's possible we might hit a uh, component thing. Oh, it stopped raining? Ah. There's still fire! I mean, we do have... Oh, I need to turn... Oh no, it's over here. Yeah, there's a shred mechanoid thing that should happen. By Valinor. Currently playing games. I'll tell you to do this. Yeah, we'll shred some mechs. Yeah, more things got brought in. We may have been able to sell some more weapons. Although, some of these can be smelted down, too. If I re-enable this, actually. Since I've got the power. I think we might be able to smelt some of these shitty weapons. We're making a flat helmet. Um... <coughs> I'm going to stop that. And this. And this. Let me prioritize here, because you're going to haul things to it and reserve it. Even if we don't have all the materials, at least it'll partially reserve some of it. Uh, I guess only the components, because we don't have enough steel. That's right. Damn, never mind. I have smelt slag here. Oh, grumpy oldie, smelting some weapons down. There you go. Smelt that breach axe. Lovely! Yeah, it's a morbid. Lovely. Still drunk, huh? Yeah, catharsis and still miserable. We gotta bank more psych IT, I guess, in the future. Hopefully I'm not about to run out of time on this job. Yeah, I haven't accepted that quest, but we still have time. We can wait. Yeah, Grumpy, you're finally old enough to be useful. Congratulations. <laughs> Forty-five. Need a hundred to start the drill. Yeah, 
Yeah, I know the meat. I'm not really caring about it. I still have plenty of meat frozen here. It's actually just annoying the size of these stacks. Maybe, you know what? I could probably build another shelf or two. Although, you know what? Since we're short on steel and I'm not going to be able to ship the toxic waste packs for the next little bit, maybe I won't do that now. I want the storage for the waste packs. Oh, it was up to 120. Yeah, there you go. And it is being built now. Great. And we do have, uh, we have one person on mining, which is going to be fine. So yeah, again, I think with Zapper, what I'm going to do is do this. So they would preferentially mine before construct, just because... Although, I, I guess if there is construction to do, you can do it. But yeah, we've got other people with skill. There we go. So, Zapper, you're hauling. If I reset you, you're still hauling blocks over here. Oh! Well, we're not restricted. Oh, because Ryan, Ryan Pendragon isn't doing it. Um. Let me do that instead, Ryan. You're not actually very good at mining. There you go. Zapper's coming over here. Good. Mm -hmm -hmm. Yeah, Doc Villain died. Ooh. Well, we went to a site and you just got one-shotted. Someone, we, we did a battle with mechs where no one got any injuries, except one mech took a shot at Zapper and missed and one shot um, Doc Villain in the brain. Instant death. Mechanoid cluster. Remain dormant until yada 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 yada. Okay. Mechs. Work area. Well, I guess I'm going to put everyone to wall first. We'll maybe just adjust the, uh, the work area. Climate adjuster. Okay, minus 10 temp will actually be kind of annoying. Hmm. That's an, we don't have a lot of these shells right now. Now, presumably if I pop this, I think the rest of the mechs will just attack us. I really don't want it to be cold. I need my plants to grow. Oh, yeah, and I can still the mech link to someone else as well, but we don't have the material right now. Mech buildings is cover from the turret to attack the cluster. Yeah. There's no, there's no proximity alert here. Although this turret is awake. What says dormant? Oh, really? This turret won't actually attack us right now? So I could set up and probably take it out instantly. Just mostly worried about what mechs come out of this thing. It has a lot of hit points. I don't think we can kill it instantly. With the mortar shot, like... The turrets can, can explode. Um, but otherwise it is safe to just melee them. Do we just want to set up out here? It's not really an ideal cover spot. I guess I could build, if they are dormant, I could build a little barricade or something here, maybe. There'd be a lot of mechs in these capsules. Yeah, I think you're probably right. Oh, we'll activate when everyone get in, when it gets in range. I mean, it doesn't have a proximity alert. But that's what I'm a little confused about. Or if you build in back. Okay, let me do a little save because I actually don't know the mechanics that are going to happen here. I don't want you to fire. King, yeah, we just saved. Let's just walk out here for a second, see what happens.
Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. There's a roller motor stream temp now. You could build a fire room around the pods. Yeah, that'd be a lot of work, but that would be kind of interesting. Oh, goods. Oh, you might have some steel. You're right, we don't have a good doctor. Oh, that's not... I didn't mean to send a flame beard. I meant to say Sarge Dragonis. Yeah, we might build some some extra walls. We might build proper defenses there rather than just the one kill thing. Uh, let me sell this human meat since it's rotting anyway. Oh, well, something particular. We've got lots of rice. ton of steel because theoretically we are mining it now from our drill. Oh yeah, the geothermal is going to get done. Should still do that. Like, <laughs> yeah, can I wall in some of these? I don't know. I might get light being complained about. Um, those rocks should be moved because they're going to be in the way. What about the really based update gas passing through vents? Hmm? Mm, no, I hadn't read, saw that specifically. That's interesting. Oh, yeah, the rocks are out of the zone. Remind me to turn down the hall later. I mean, the climb adjuster is actually not being a problem right now. Come safe. Oh, Rhyme, you're not carrying a weapon right now. Let's go and get you that, please. All right. Let's just go for it. I'll try to remember my powers. Because blinding and stuff does work on these things. Oh, uh, you'll be able to double perks next time. So, Vampire with Fast Walker, Native Fast Walker, they'll stack. Oh, nice. Two mailiers, I'm gonna have them. All 
All right. It's probably stupid, but we got the save. Wow, that exploded fast. I wasn't expecting it to explode that quickly. It was Doc that had the skip. I mean, we have Chaos Skip. Valinor is fighting. He might not have line of sight. Okay. Alligator, how badly hurt are you? You lost a leg. That's fine. That just means an upgrade. Although you do have to be treated pretty darn fast. Okay. Unrecruit everyone. Rhyme is currently our best doctor. Just... I know you don't have any medicine. Just try to patch them up real quick. Is Bunisher okay? I mean, Bunisher's always okay. Well, it's pretty hurt. <clears throat> Just try to stem the bleeding, because six hours is pretty scary. Okay. Call that good enough. Now just rescue. Okay. Now, this thing is still going to assemble a mech. Oh, another one in four days. Um, yeah, we'll have to... We'll, we'll get someone out here. Actually, Kerminu... You come over here. You're in a good mood. You're not hurt. You're not one of our doctors. Send the kids out to smash everything. Actually, I kind of like that idea. Oh, they're sleeping right now. Escrow it. They can practice. Oh, Drunk got down there. Oh, that's annoying. Who's our best doctor? It is Ryan. He's cranky right now. Okay, well, eat your meal so you don't snap. Thank you. Now. You know what? I know they're going to be shit at it. But I'm going to activate some extra doctors. Flamebeard is catatonic. Let's... Not ideal timing, but okay. That'll give everyone a mood boost from defeating a mutt cluster, which is great. Um, allow all deconstruct that. Actually, deconstruct more. Restrict. Get the walled area now. They don't have to be indoors as strictly. Okay, uh, Zapper's still bleeding, but is being treated, maybe? Ken is treating drunk. Oh, there we go. Although, Sarge is also still bleeding. So, maybe go lie down for a second, dude. Okay, I can't be trusted with firearms. Can't be trusted with cooking utensils. Tell you what, let's give you the SMG again there, uh, banana. Oh, 
Oh yeah, catatonic breakdown. We don't really need to rescue you. Rhyme's going on a food binge. I don't know if that's the right time for that. I guess you're not doctoring anymore. Valinor. Can you please finish tending the Sarge Dragonis? There we go. Now, one person losing lost their legs, but we'll see about getting by next. This is uh this is on again. Good. Work theoretically will start up on this. Oh, and that's working on the SMG, which we gotta give back to probably Flamebeard. <laughs> Remind me to not go around to Quill's house for dinner. No, you'd want to. You've seen my cooking posts on Twitter. Removing recon armor. And tantrum. You're just gonna go. You're gonna smash reinforced barrels time four? No! Unaccept! Oh my god, we're moving too slow. Catch him! Catch him! Catch him! Catch him! I don't know if we're in range for a word of serenity, but we can do the arrest. Turn that off. So the problem, drunk shooter can't get over his addiction because of the chemical interest, I think. Yeah. So I don't think there's anything we can do here. Um, we could leave him locked up until, oh, that's 25 days. Because he doesn't have catharsis because we've canceled this. I guess we could leave him locked up until he's feeling healthier. Hmm. Idol. I'm gonna buy a sculptor pod. Hmm. Yeah, does the mood um does those mood buffs decay while you're in a bio sculptor pod? Fascination doesn't prevent oh maybe it doesn't. I mean maybe we could leave you in here until your withdrawal goes. Fast Sculptor suspends pawns. Hmm. No decaying pawn. Can we try to change your drug policy from here? Because they'll be fed drugs in here. 23%. That'll take a while to go away, but... The thing is, I'm fine with this, because the thing is, we're going to keep getting psychoid addictions just because we do pr give people psychoid tea. It was just really awkward that we ran out. Because of, like, bad weather and stuff. But maybe I should grow some more. End up with more of an excess of stuff. Hmm. I could at least leave him in here until the injuries are gone, so you're not in massive pain anymore. I think anesthesia does let the uh, withdrawal kick down. So yeah, you can sort of comb with toast people. We could grow it indoors, for, but then we'd have to build a bunch of material for it. And since we do have, theoretically, year-round growth, assuming we don't get cold snapped again, we're generally going to be okay. Yeah, I don't have people limited to the work zone anymore, but I probably should fix this again in any case. Drunk shooters in days because of psychite withdrawal. Okay, let's... Oh, over here. Yeah, that's fine. Oh yeah, my heaters are just turned off right now. I mean, we might still be getting mood debuffs from the chill. Since okay, I did uh, this geothermal got finished, so yeah, we can go and turn the heaters back on to maintain nice, comfortable temperature everywhere. I still have the uh, research labs turned off so that we do more ground penetrating scanner stuff. Although I do have a steel drill set up, which was sort of the hurry thing, but wouldn't mind finding more. I think we found some uranium, which we didn't know we need. Mr. Danish butter. See ya. Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh, Dubs Man Hygiene? Yes, my last two, well, actually quite a few of my recent runs have used it. But I do keep referring to the last two runs, uh, the Western one and the Cat Cafe one, because those were very heavily modded. And yeah, Dubs Bad Hygiene is a lot of fun. It is a mod that definitely makes the game a little harder, because you need to build more stuff and your people need to spend more time taking care of those things, but it's a lot of fun. Bum, 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 bum. It just looks good to have little, little bathrooms and things. It feels realistic. And that's it. It mostly depends on what the theme of the run is, whether I want to add those in or not. So there's still this quest. It's a little scary. The situation's not fantastic, but these are amazing. And we will have these mercenaries. All right, let's accept. So many pods! So, why is there a fire that happened there? Oh, we got a z Although that must be home zone since I'm getting the fire warning. All right, we'll let Drunk Shooter out. Well, he's gonna be pretty cranky. Oh, does Hand Talon let you do melee attacks even if you've got a gun equipped? Well, that's quite interesting. Yeah, since we don't have simple sidearm. Of the mods that change gameplay, I feel like simple sidearms might be my personal favorite. I don't know, it's it's hard. I keep going back and forth. So we're gonna get raided soon. Mechs are limited to the walled area. Children are also limited to the walled area. I mean, theoretically, someone signed to wardening will go and move these prisoners. Oh, they're gonna go neuro supercharge. There we go. Take wounded prisoner, Sharon. Yeah, they're getting they're getting moved in here. Or wish them to know it's balanced too. It is. Uh, I mean, I think it is balanced because, like, yeah, the enemies also show up with the extra sidearms and stuff. Um, but it is, in a sense, an extra complexity that doesn't really need to be in the game. Especially, like, since trying to manage the different weapons can be awkward. Like, when I'm playing with simple sidearms, I actually also want the equipment manager so that my pawns will go and grab weapons on their own because I find it awkward to keep re-equipping them. I actually find it awkward to re-equip people with a single weapon a lot of times, but it's worth, worth with a double. Um, alligator, where's your weapon at? Way out here. I know you're hurt there. How badly hurt are you? Oh, yeah, you're missing the leg and stuff. Oh, you're gonna get caught by a raid while you're out there. No, stay inside. And speaking of, let's, um... Let's restrict everyone until the raid hits to the wall area, actually. Clothing managing remotes. The clothing's fine. The problem, uh, the only time I run into issues where I find the clothing management to be awkward is when I'm running a bunch of mods that add clothing. In which case, then I'm really happy to be running the outfitted mode. Okay. Prepare for a while, then attack. Well, that means we can mortar them a couple of times. Ooh. Okay, two groups. That's okay. We can grab pretty much anyone. Yeah, let's put these guys to use. I mean, I don't have actually very many mortar shells. And I'll just auto target here. Thum, thum. Miss, miss. Of course. More miss. Because why would we ever hit? We got a hit there. You want calling us? Just walk around uh, armor during. Wish you had a button to click whether draft equipment or something. Yeah, again, there's mods for that. Punisher requires a blood sacrifice. How 
I was about to say, where's Drunk Shooter? I forgot he's in here. No one's gotten around to releasing him yet. Come for killing the music. Yeah, I think with P there's the like the combat music, right? That kicked in here. So Punisher's not going to be involved in this because his uh, master is currently in prison. Can we get the kids in here. Uh, kids don't have any hit points. I don't know. I'll keep them on the side just in case something weird happens. They come. Wow. This guy just tanked all the traps. Every single trap. What are you wearing? Hyperweave t-shirt. Marine armor. Holy crap. Someone might end up wearing some tainted marine armor here in a second. No one with a... Okay, minigun. Like, no one with, like, a triple... Uh, who's got the triple rocket launcher? Okay. Shaky Shot. It's a good name. Um, That is very terrifying. Hmm. Shin flashbacks. Is that how Shin died? Did he get rocket launchered? There's still one more trap there. What I might want to do when he gets in here, I might want to pull all my actual people back. Uh, bots. Go inside. I'm happy that someone brought a shield belt. Okay, one group is fleeing, but that is not Shaky's group. Where, Shaky must be in here somewhere? Yeah, right there. Oh, and he's near the front. all my actual people and move them away. Just going to leave the people who arrive for the quest. Oh. Where's Shaky? Did he get downed instantly? I think maybe. I don't see the uh, triple rocket launcher, but it might be under everything. Yeah. In the quarter? Excellent. Kids, stay over here, please. There you go. Last group is playing. Well, then, tell you what. Everyone pop outside here. See if you can get a few extra pot shots. And go, kids, go! You got this! Yeah! <laughs> hey! Oh my god. Light machine guns. A weapon of choice for children. Oh my god, we were a prisoner, but they kept shooting for too long. Uh, I don't think we're, they're going too fast, and they've still got marine armor, so they're going to be a little tough. Any wigglers? No. <laughs> I mean, we're kind of full on prisoners anyway. Just another school day. <laughs> what did you learn today at school, kids? How to obliterate the enemy with miniguns? Kitties need a rocket launcher. <laughs> Give Banana the minigun. Oh, shit, yeah. Hang on, fair. Uh, or the triple rocket launcher, which now I finally see. Now, whereas the light machine gun is actually kind of a shit weapon, the minigun is light machine gun done right. And I mean, again, minigun. Kids should be able to use it. It's mini. That's kid size, right? All right, let's unforbid everything. Let's unrestrict all our adults and oops, leave our kids in the walled area. And the mechs can work the work area, which could probably be expanded now. Yeah, I know there's another minigun there too, but we could we could upscale the kids from LMG to, to miniguns. We'll see. Um, I'm going to go and throw the hauling on a high priority for a sec here so we can get this area sorted out. 
Chain shotguns, heavy SMGs, but yeah, in my uh, my vanilla Let's Play, which I did uh, recently on YouTube, uh, it was on 1.3, but it was no DLC, no mods. I actually used chain shotguns for the first time, and the, the range is pretty short, but I was impressed at how much damage it brought. But yeah, otherwise we're using a bunch of SMGs until we can get to um, like really like the the pulse laser rifles. Pulse laser rifles are an upgrade, but otherwise no. Oh, we were gonna get two waves, weren't we? Two raids, yeah, this, oh, that's annoying. This one's a siege and we don't have our mortar shells. Okay, go back to being restricted to work. Got some room to play with here. I don't know. I think I might just have to charge these guys. You know what? I think that actually might be the best play here. Although there's another freaking triple rocket launcher. Um, let me. You're right. Let me just double check here. Hold on. Um. Smelt apparel tainted. I've turned off armor, so we don't smelt down the marine armor. Same thing with destroy apparel tainted. I have armor turned off. So the marine armor will stay. Now, we do have the guests. Again, as long as the best... I, I think the triple rocket launchers are single shot, right? So if they can just eat the rocket launcher hit. Yeah, I think that's where we might be here. Okay, no one, still no one has uh, let Drunk Shooter out. Yeah, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna Start moving people forward, and then we'll send out our, our temp mercs to go and soak the rocket launcher shot. Yes, the minigun is so called because smaller gun of the rotary uh, barrel resistors like the Vulcan. Mm -hmm. Rifle ammo instead of anakin. But it is just funny to talk about. It's, just, it's small because it's kid size. Are we a little too close? There might have been a sniper rifle range there. Oh, I didn't bring Vordy. Oh, there you go. Drunk Shooter's out. Yeah. They're going to be pretty cranky. They got arrested and everything. Also badly malnourished. Yeah, I think our um our warden job is just overloaded or maybe something else is wrong. Spine Pierce and Rocket Launcher. I mean, it would be nice. The range on Spine Pierce is, is really short. So all these guys, yellow. Okay. Move Vordy over here because it'll be a little easier to manage. I'm gonna charge. Charge. Shuttle right for the prisoners. Yeah, and and these guys. We got to deal with this first. Okay, I think that's the triple rocket launcher right there. Who are you firing at? Zane. So it's gonna be centered around there. Zane isn't even gonna attempt any evasive maneuvers. It takes him a while to fire, doesn't it? It's just the one triple rocket, right? Yes, okay, good. Boom, boom. Oh my God, he didn't even die. He just soaked the triple rocket launcher attack and then didn't die? Wow. All right. there. Actually fine with you guys being 
position in kind of crummy ways. Whereas our people will be looking for cover, such as it is. Manhunter Pulse and Loom Wolves. Okay, that would have been actually pretty hilarious. They're assaulting the colony. They're stopping their construction jobs. I don't think any of our actual people have been injured. Oh, that's not true. Rhyme Pen Dragon. Oh, who doesn't actually have cover here? Well, why don't you just pull back? Oh, you've been down. Oh, yeah, you still have your, um, your, your withdrawal. That's hurting you a lot. I don't think invisibility is going to help here. I'm just going to keep blinding these guys. guys, I mean, they're not part of me. They have the death of Citifier as well. You know what I should do then? I can't strip them. There are a lot of Wigglers. We also have to rescue Rhyme Pendragon. Unwavering loyalty. So, new. And yeah, I actually don't care about risking the friendlies, because I don't think they matter. Theoretically, we might be able to rescue and have them leave the map for a mood boost, but I don't think otherwise it makes a difference. If you get a new doctor, this petition, they'd be renamed to Doc Villain. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, and wavering loyalty. That's right. Yeah, so that's it. Okay. Um, -da 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 -da. let's allow all the things. Unrestrict you guys. Oh, that's true. I could still slave them, but no, nah, I don't want to do that. I'll scratch you, Zane. Because he survived the triple rocket launcher? I mean, we'll, we'll always think of him when we complain about our own people dying to rocket launcher hits. Yeah, I'm just going to keep having a lot of people in medicine make art of Zane. That would be cool. Put an auto load on here. Someone at some point will move the prisoners. Okay, that's fine. None of those are my people. Came out here for a fine meal. Okay. I think I might let my mechs, my lifter mechs, come out over here. Not even feel 10, have him walk it off. <laughs> nope. Bow coded LMG. Or Kiki. Okay, our own people being tended. Kiki death. I was gonna say, why are we operating on the prisoners? Right, this is my, uh, one of my blood bags. Died. Oh. Eggnog. Fisher. 
So yeah, we have the extra mech link. Correct term is blood puppy. <laughs> I'm just worried about the material to build more mechs. So I'm just gonna hold on to blood, the, the mech link for now. Infection. Oh, that's Kane. Huh. Actually, got assigned a bedroom. Oh, yeah, I still have to floor these rooms. Uh, no, but I want this to finish. That's right. How's our time on this coming along? Three point seven days. Holy shit! We're not gonna we're not gonna finish this. Wow. Get crafting higher priority so that people spend more time cutting blocks. We have no restrictions on zones right now. Frigate, craft number one priority. There's only so many crafting jobs going around. As long as someone's working on stuff. Of course, child labor. Yeah. Oh yeah, the hull can be brought down now too. Flamebeard overdose? What? Why over here? Oh, these guys must have brought some drugs with them. High on Yayo. Oh, Beardy. Who's closest here? Ryan, well, yeah, but you're you're gonna smoke flake. Tell you what, I'm gonna override that. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna override this and get you to do that. Oh, alligator was here. They could have done it. I know you guys are desperate for drugs, but seriously, you gotta settle down a bit. Oh, there we go. And quest complete. Giving some cool silence. Uh, and we can consider using. We do have our mech healer serum. We could consider throwing on someone who's taken maybe a. Maybe I should just use an alligator. Yeah, you know what? Here's the thing, because we know we want psionic parts, or, or um, we want like bionic parts and stuff. But we'd have to replace both legs, and you still have the nose problem and all these scars. I think Alligator might take that. Oh yeah, Banana Cabana still needs a bionic arm. Yeah. I like it. Go for it, alligator. Remember, everyone remember, hold this minigun with one arm. That's true, yes. Huh? Yep, Parduk, you called it. This is when Quill learns here's serum heals only one thing. Well, that's shitty. On the other hand, now we only have to replace one leg. All right, the left leg. The right leg was regrown. And then at some point, we get a bionic leg. We can replace the left leg. And then at some point, we'll give you the um, aesthetic noses as well. Yeah, the Persona Sword's probably still lying around. I need to get a... Um, right over here. I need a... Zone... The second one here. Oh, worried. So in theory, okay, Lovin's not helping us right now. Drunk shooter eating paste, and then gonna go carve some blocks. Eating meal over here. Okay. Oh yeah, there might be a cleaning mech we need to name. Clean sweeper. Yeah, one of our two cleaning mechs. You're right. You are going to join our proud mech family. As Kenya! Kena! 
Welcome. Oh, sorry. You should be Kanabot. Just to follow our trend. There. Clean, clean, clean. How come I can't right click? Oh, because we have all the blocks we need. That's why. I suppose, I mean, there might be waste. We do have a construction box, although it's slow. All right, up to Drunk Shooter, who's got at least a four. I don't think we have any, any other construction queued up. Valinor, what are you up to? You're cutting blocks. Wait, but... No, I guess I could have put it at two. I guess I'll put you guys at a one in your construction right now. We'll have to fix it after. Nope. Uh, my colonists actually have no restrictions right now. Uh, my mechs are limited to work zone, which does encompass this area. I did fix that. That's why Exile bot, Magbot is uh, ready to, uh, to work on the flooring very slowly. Okay, we might be able to get there. Unless, unless we get another siege or something like that. That restricts our people from going outside. What I might do is just increase these numbers a bit, just so that we have a bit more of a buffer. I'll bring it down to 150 again afterwards. I don't want that many marble blocks around, generally speaking. But just to make sure that the block job doesn't get interrupted. I think we are going to make it. Again, unless Randy decides to screw us up, which is, you know, that's very Randy. And yeah, I am sending my, um, my lifter bots out here, which is a little scary, but... Someone's got to go, and honestly, it's probably better that lifter bots do it instead of humans. Did we drop the persona weapon that got dropped? Did we grab the persona weapon that got dropped? Well, there was bio-coated stuff over here, so that did get grabbed. And then, yeah, our sword is still out there, actually. Keep grabbing people who will never do hauling. And eventually, one of our lifter bots should grab this. And the lifter bots are unrestricted. There's definitely a zone to put them there. A little annoying. We'll never do... Fucking hell! Who will do hauling? Banana, let's get one of the kids out here. Oh, except the kids aren't allowed outside the well. There he is. Flamebeard! Just haul that thing. God, why is it so hard just to get a stupid sword back and said... So this is why I need I need a loud tool so I can have priority haul back. So this is bonded to drunk shooter. Hey kid, grab this dangerous weapon that has personality to make you hear voices that aren't there. <laughs> have plenty of human meat again. Assuming we get around to butchering them in time. Oh yeah, all these heaters need freaking maintenance. I wonder if they have a chance to break down while they're turned off. Possibly they don't, in which case I'm just going to turn off all these heaters right now since I clearly don't need them. Go. Yeah, we got plenty of marble blocks. Construction's happening. Okay, so it's not just flooring. The stells have to finish. Although, we're nearly done. It's just the flooring, so I think we'll have enough time. Who's got the extreme bird first? Oh, yeah, rhyme. I don't think there's anything I can use to get you to chill, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, you can't counsel yourself, so. Oh, yeah, the growth. I mean, yeah, you're right. You can turn these off for now. I guess we don't even have anything in the Jeed Bank. So, yeah. And we're not building anything here or here. Okay, Ryan's in the day. Okay. Okay. 
That's not a bad break. The daze is very manageable. Oh yeah, we could probably use like a joy power or something. Ooh, there we go, underground steel, good. I mean, we've just got the one right now, which is gonna be fine. It's keeping a trickle of steel coming in. Yeah, we got a, uh, we got a thousand plus steel. 700 steel. One around psychotic state. Okay. At least our plants are growing now. We don't have the volcanic winter reducing light. It's not too cold anymore. What are you building here? It's taking so long. Oh, there is another stell there. Okay. They take a lot of time. Fingers crossed. We can do this. Now get Wow, Parduke! Holy crap, man! Parduke, one of our bots! <laughs> I mean, one of our bots in RimWorld. They're, they're presumably a real person on Twitch. Thank you very much for that. 400, so that's 10 new gear subs from Parduke. With the, bring their total to 407. Oh, come on! Next, Randy, you're not allowed to interrupt me when I'm doing this. Also, this is really gonna slow down our fabrication here. Urgh. Mechanoid cluster with a smoke spewer. Bunch of turrets. Okay. All right. Restrict everyone to work zone. Uh, including these hauler mechs. Just stay out of this area. As well as there. We're gonna ignore you for a bit. Smoke spewing reduced sunlight in the whole region. Wait, so it's like, is it smoky here? Or is it radius? It's gonna hurt my plant growth and just make everything dark. Halt the forehand. I, I'm going to try desperately to finish this. I'm going to try to ignore this. None of it's awake, although this is a proximity activator. It'd be great if we got, like, a regular raid to show up right over here. Oh, that'd be lovely. Ooh, unstable fire. Anyway, we're not going to get this power cell. It's going to get exploded by our stuff. Yeah, it's not the worst mech cluster in the universe. Randy does not want your plants to grow. That's true. I mean, we still have plenty of food stuff stored up. It's the people on Psychite and Heatwave. Huh. Well, we still have a good amount of refrigeration from the last heat wave. Randy's on a roll. Hashtag just Randy things. Yeah, he hates plants. First it's cold, now it's hot. Mm hmm. Complaining about the cold earlier. You're right, I was. That'll, that'll learn me. Here's the bear. Go and, go and chew on one of these guys. Erotic yeah, Optimist. Psychite Addiction. Yeah, being remote. Well, the Optimist is helping, the Neurotic less so. Carmino's in labor! Um, could, could you go maybe to the hospital? Could we have a baby in the hospital for a change? That would be nice. I'm surprised they don't do that on their own. Plain beers and British revenge. Okay, try not to die from that. Did someone carry? Oh no, everyone's broken. Nope. Hey, Quill, pay attention. There's a new subscriber. Bring her in there. Quick. Quest failed. Oh, come on! Oh, wait, that was breaking someone out. That's fine. I don't care about that one. If you gather for birth, they go to the hospital. Oh, really? Uh, Joe Kim, thank you very much for the sub. How do you gather for birth? Is there 
a tone? Do I right click on a person? Maybe, maybe before they were in bed, I could have hit a button on them. That should be okay. How's the hospital? Yeah, 21 degrees. So we're gonna be okay. Click on the mum. This is the mum. I, I didn't see a button there, but maybe click on herself. Maybe before she'd gone to bed. Anyway, we gave birth! Just spat it out onto the ground. Healthy kid. Alright, we need a name. Uh, so first of all, last name is gonna be... What do we do we're using? Kerdragonis. That's what it was. Kerdragonis. And where's my draw? It's Kalaric! Kalaric Kerdragonis. Welcome to the family. Someone turn this pot on and throw a baby in it. Midwives are overrated. Need carpet in there to catch them. At least we did finally get the carpet here. Insert person. Clark. It passes awkward baby to the face. Welcome to the family now. Get in the tube. <laughs> that thing's still there. This thing's going to be interesting to deal with. Yeah, it's a human root not running away, it's fine. Although it's, it's not stacked very well here. This is every baby's final duty to enter the tanks. <laughs> Excellent reference. Stump. Okay, Firmino is up. Are we gonna finish this though? I hope. You know what? I hate it if you waste some blocks. Yeah, we gotta we gotta try to hammer through this. Um, I don't think they have a high shield. But we don't have the shells right now. They've got to get built. So no. Our, our solution to this will be to shell it. But we got to wait. Well, first of all, I, w I still want to focus on this. But then, yeah, we'll have to construct some things. Right. You're allowed to go over here. That's okay. Let's throw most of the babies. There's one one degrees in here. But again, we have got a safe spot. So even if they start to overheat, they can presumably search safe temperature go to the hospital, or someone can rescue them and bring it there. Oh yeah, that's right, the other siege might have some shells that just need to be brought in. We do have some barrels. Yeah. I suppose you, uh, all these high farms. Yeah, thank you. Fudge! Monument expired. realize how close we're getting a little sooner. Dang it. Oh, that's disappointing. That's a lot of work. Yeah, I didn't realize uh, how tight it was getting until we had like four days left and there was still a lot to do. Oh, well. We got close. Soon. I'm trying to see if we can get a critical mass of the uh, these shells first. So, Valinor, what are you up to? Are you meditating right now? Oh, you're probably coming over here to deconstruct some stuff. This is why we're happy to have another crafter going, because Valinor by themselves can't handle everything, especially since they're also one of our best constructors. Mini 
turrets, which does have to happen. Uh, bring Valinor's Construct out. I guess I kind of have to. I'm assuming we're not going to do the... Uh, you know what? I'll just cancel the Tribal Headrest thing. It's not going to happen. I mean, Tribal Reckoning is good, but... I'm going to get you to... Oh! At the station. I guess I could put the Shred Mechanoids down in the list. But I do kind of want this cleaned up. So I don't know. Maybe it's fair to Shred first. Did Grumpy get any crafting skill yet? That's an excellent question. And the answer is yes, they're at 1.69. So Grumpy is the one doing some tailoring. Although now it's not happening because I guess we did have the dummy. Oh, you must have made some masks, but they weren't very high quality. What we should do, it should be the job that takes the most labor. That's the slowest. Which might be like, might be parkas. Oh, treat stream! Oh, -hoo -hoo! Hoo -hoo -hoo! <laughs> I just was looking through the list earlier, Parduke, and I saw that on the list. I'm like, I'd forgotten about this. I'd forgotten about how good that is. It's so good. Thank you. Oh, that is wonderful. Thank you so much. Let's put it at the bottom of the list. And for now, put on Do Forever. As a training job for people who are zero to four and can't do the others. Wool cloth, leather, but not thrombo fur. There we go. This is a parka training job. Timer set, thank you. Actually, oh, my phone's over there. Oh, I get up, but my, my toe really hurts. I actually considered um, ending the stream at three. I'm like, I kind of just want to put my foot up. But I think we're okay. With one skill, conductor, etc. Um, yeah, I don't think that there's no uh, there's no skill limit. I think. No, I'm okay right now, Essentia. Thank you. I didn't drink enough water though. But that's entirely on me. All right, 10 shells. Valinor making more shells, great. Well, I guess because I've got the better workbench, I can just have these things drop to the ground and have the bots take care of moving it to places now. Yeah. I have lifter bots for a reason. There we go. Beautiful. Grumpy oldie working on a parka. Yeah, so I, I could have checked over here. So work amount is 134. A 167 is actually... Okay, that's more 80 fabric. Oh, no, having a forever um, duster job is actually better. I didn't realize that. Dusters take the same amount of material, but more work, which makes it better for a training job. What about jackets? A little less material, but not really... Um, I should actually check the wiki. I'm betting. Hold on. Um, Rimworld wiki tailoring. They probably have a chart. Clothing. They'll have they'll have a um, a spreadsheet on one of these pages. I don't know which one. Oh my god, the wiki's so slow. It's been so slow ever since Biotech came out. There we go. Work to make. No, I want. They have value per work and value for material. What I I almost want is, um, hmm. I want like work to material as a ratio. But if I look here, if I'm looking at a hood, hood might be the right thing to do. Well, slice cap can be made out of wood. I can see the value of that too. So, okay. 
could, and let me put the slice cap on here. Or do you do you not make it a Taylor Minch? No, I guess you don't. The hood. 100 work for 50. Yeah, so the hood is better. Yeah, what about the kid stuff? Oh no, this is actually the kid's parka. So it's better than two to one. Because, okay, when we looked at the duster, the duster is about two to one, which is the same as the hood. The parka is less than two to one, so it doesn't have as much work. So yeah, we'll just finish that. But the kid's parka is much better than two to one. What about the kid's romper? No, that's about one to one. So it feels like the best thing to grind out skill. And sorry, there might be some people in chat who are giving some interesting info here. I'll, I'll switch over to it in a sec. I have the wiki tab open. Hmm. Oh, slice cap was next to my cursor. Of course it was. Oh, I was looking for a brown little graphic. That's why. Yeah, two to one. But can use wood, which is nice. But it's really short. Yeah, I think... Kid Parker is our training job. Do forever. Only people with less than four skill. Turn those off. Turn off Thrumble for. Okay. Normal clothing. Some of it was, um, I don't know about the, uh, have we unlocked the fancy stuff? Because I know the, um, um, the Cornez and stuff were, like, really work heavy. Do you have enough kids to make parkas out of? Haha. <laughs> side quest. Eh. So Grumpy's going to finish the regular parka. Aged Man, Reverse of Valinor. Who doesn't have one of these yet. This we are mining, we got the power. Okay. I still have to move these to a proper room, but for now, let's get that set up. I'm trying to build them on demand instead of ahead of time now. Farm goats, the kid parka's even punnier! Kids. Goats. Yep. Okay. I'll cancel that. It's right away. How sad. Very tragic. Oh, it's charging. I wonder if I should get a third charger. A, th a third. I'm going to say second and I realize, wait, that's not right. Jeansy is getting quite low, and so is oh, part of charging. Jeansy is getting quite low, and there's not a charger. They're gonna want one soon. Two might be enough, but I'm wondering about getting a third going. Oh, Ooh, Shorty is the husband of Fox, one of our blood blood puppies. Dun, dun, dun. All right, how are we doing here? Seventeen. Uh, okay, Valinor's asleep. I'm gonna check on material and stuff. Because there's no... It would be handy, and I don't think it's the case. Over here doesn't tell us if there's material for the job. And it might be nice to be able to see that at a glance. Because the only way I know it... Oh, Valinor's back over here. Is if you right-click, and then it says, Oh, you can't because there's not enough material. You know? I don't know if there's another way to see at a glance if a job can be done other than trying to force someone to work at the bench and then them not being able to. Yes, Bunisher is the right. Uh, Bunisher is the Rhino. Yes. Actually, that means Ryan's alligator needs a melee weapon. I guess we never got your Persona one. Let me just equip this longsword because I think your Thrumblehorn is still out in the middle of the field, rotting away. But it's near where the mechs are, so I don't want to go there. Oh, alligator being above skill 15, they are now making art out of uh, jade now. Because that's where I set the limiter. I want to make sure, like, I don't, I don't want to start blasting with those guys until I have, like, enough shells to kind of feel like I'm going to finish the job. 
since they're not they're not hurting us right now. I mean, the smoke is covering the region, which is less than ideal, but it's not a it's not a massive problem. Nine o'clock in the morning. Growth rate 101. Uh, lit 86%. Yeah, I guess the cloud. I mean, unless the clouds get thicker and thicker, which might be the case. Few enough smoke to block the sun, the whole region of the planet. Yeah, maybe it gets thicker and thicker, the smoke. So eventually it'll be a problem. But for now, it doesn't make a difference. Oh, toxic wake in the freezer. It is almost full. Okay, we're gonna have to use some of our steel here to transport pod this away. At some point, you can just make a caravan and carry it somewhere, but. Should give a little chat here. Let's see here. I'm not gonna need more medicine. Sell the ambrosia off, sell off the wake up and the go juice. You know, I'm gonna sell these extra oak. Because I don't think they had any genetics that were interesting here, so I'm just gonna toss them out. Oh yeah, we can all the hand tannin talent in someone, perhaps. Okay, we'll just get rid of this, because, I mean, actually, I should smelt this for material. Would be better. I wonder if the amount of material you get is based on the hit points of the thingy. Do I keep the triple rocket launcher? I just feel like I'm going to get myself in trouble, but I think I will keep it. I think I'm going to sell the minigun, as funny as it is to give to our kids. Uh, I'm going to sell the sculpture just to lower our... Oh, you don't have enough money for that. Hold on, is there anything you can, I can buy? I suppose I could just buy a bunch of medicine. Gene pack for mini horns. I mean, yeah. I have to turn on my gene bank, I think, now. Mini guns are pretty good, you're right. What's the quality of this one? It's only normal. But they don't have enough money anyway. I'm going to keep this mini gun. We're on the gene bank. And yeah, Kalark in there having a little bit of a nappy do. Oh, and that one went plain beard. Down more. Get in there. Melting job over here. So this melts all weapons that are worse than normal. This melts bio coated weapons. So I need another job. I mean, weapons don't really lose, um, they don't lose combat efficiency as they lose hit points, unlike armor, but I'm still doing the ones that are, like, about to, like, disintegrate themselves. We'll put a little burnify job. What happens if you age prefer a baby? <laughs> Oh, I forgot to have the, uh, the make chem fuel from organics here. That's the funny thing. Like, we're actually using meat for all kinds of random stuff. That's why I really wasn't concerned about meat burning. Although, I should put the wood first. Drunk shooter, still major break risk. I'm just hoping you don't go on a murder spree. Yeah, your wife, Doc Villain, died, and you've got the Psychite withdrawal. And you're in a dull barracks. Actually, we probably... This drum shooter. And you know what? Let's put those floors down. I wasn't doing it because I was waiting for the um, our monument to finish, but that didn't work out. So. I've never been able to verify armor does degrade before. I I think we've checked before. Where we've compared two pieces of armor of similar quality. 
Okay, we've got a normal flak vest on Sarge. Does someone else have one? Okay, do we not have flak vests? Do we not produce those? Literally only one person has a flak vest on. Yeah, we can pair duskers. That'd be better. But... Did I... Never set up this job? Huh. Alright. Make sure we have a flak vest stored with at least 55% hit points. And let's say at least normal quality. In case we bork one. Huh. Okay. So, dusters. Then it's got to be same material and same quality. Devil Strand. Thrumbo. Um, I'm having a hard time cycling through people here. Devil Strand Masterwork. Devil Strand Excellent. Devil Strand Good. Devil Strand Excellent. Okay, hold on. So, Ken... Okay. Ken and Alligator both have excellent Devil Strand Dusters. The percentage is actually pretty close. 72 and 63. So, 54.6 sharp. 54.6 sharp. It's a 78% excellent duster. Same numbers. Does it not degrade in the same way? It's always what we've heard. Problem is, all my dusters are actually in pretty similar um, state. They're all in like that 70 plus or minus some amount. Oh, flak helmets. That might be another possibility. That's true. At least all there, there the material would be the same. Okay, good. Yeah, but these numbers are almost exactly the same. It's an excellent. Okay, here you go. 84% excellent flak helmet is 81.6 or 81.9 yeah so i mean unless these stats go down as the hit points drop like maybe they're not represented here but maybe it doesn't go down it's always what i'd heard it's always what i've been told like after your armor gets below 80 percent it really doesn't do the same anymore but no health master matters in combat extended. Unless I'm getting confused with combat extended. Or people have said the wrong thing. There's no HP multiplier in the info panel for armor, so no. Well, shit, all right. Because sometimes I've wondered with my um, with my outfits. It's like, ooh, should I have them take it off at like 80 for like armor and stuff like that? It turns out it doesn't matter. All right, all we have to worry about is not becoming tattered to become unhappy. So quality makes a big difference. Yeah, quality makes a huge difference, but... Maybe hit points don't. A little bit of fire over here is kind of annoying. Someone will put that out. Thanks, Zapper. Much appreciated. Okay, second stack of artillery shells is starting to come together. It was a dark and stormy night. Oh, um, I can lower... These back down to 150. Don't need that many marble blocks. Yeah, the lightning hit a trap. We need to chop down some more trees. Soonish, so do that now. Just the ones that are closest to our base here. I guess this can all be deconstructed. Ah, oh, sadness. Although. Did we not get a legendary table? Punisher's Temple. <laughs> I thought we got a legendary table when we are constructing this. And Masterwork. So that's fine. All right, because it's funny, let's get the kids in the mortars. 
And who's awake? Zapper, you can supervise. Now. I could just target this to start the attack. Actually, that's probably what I want to do. Tell the kids they're playing long darts. Yeah, I think I do want to just target this. We had a legendary sculpture, that's true. I thought we had a legendary table, but... I mean, I don't really feel like I need a safety save, but... I, I, this, I guess it's going to be a save against... I click something completely wrong. Miss! There we go. Wait, are they seriously... Are they... Are they attacking? Okay, you're going back. Maybe the ones that were called down. Are they keep getting re-aggroed by the mortar shells? I'm quite surprised, but I'll take it. Oh, is the sense bead still coming? Yeah. All right, well, change of plan, kids. Finish off the turrets, because we can go and just smash that machine later. Yeah, I was thinking I'm going to uh, smash the smoke machine so these things attack, but I guess I don't have to do that. Thump, thump. Okay, hold on. This is being miniguns, so I'm gonna run away with the guys who aren't undercover. Okay. That was easy. Yeah, we'll just take out the uh, the turrets and I guess I don't even have to force target. They're gonna automatically target the turrets because it's it's hostile. That worked quite well. I mean, our weapons are insanely good, I and mean, we've got a few static defenses. That's going to help. Uh, Max, you can go back to the work area. We might not have enough shells to finish this, but that's okay. We can just take another crack after. <laughs> so inaccurate! Is the unstable power cell still there? I, for one, is shocked. <laughs> Absolutely shocked. I mean, it's conceivable with just two turrets, we could decide to just attack and maybe save the power cell. I don't think it's worth the risk, though. Just snipe the cell. Mm. Mm. Dude, I'm so sorry, man. We're probably due to get our Psychite Harvest soon, though. Mm, not as soon as I might have thought. Okay, a daze is okay. We can deal with that. That's all right. Hey, Quill, pay attention. Max to the fire. Oh, Pale Kiwi, thank you very much for the sub. Welcome. Um. Mechno, like the little, you're saying like the Militors and things are immune to fire, so they would be not threatened by the Inferno Tower? That is interesting. We got a Zot over here, which is probably not home zoned, although it is currently raining, so. Speaking of though, we can shrink this down. Oh, my god. Randy! Settle down, Randy! I think I did increase the difficulty a notch at some point. Um, but do yeah, we're on blood and dust, not strive to survive. I can't remember if I ever updated the what game. My apologies if I did not. Um, okay, attacking from multiple angles. Um, Y'all are about to have a bad day. I'm just saying. Who 
Cougar Revenge. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, the flame breath! Someone had some jalapenos? Some jalapenos? I do like the imps. There we go. We got Charboiled Cougar over here. Oh, interesting. This uh, Inferno turret doesn't, must not have... Oh, because there's a wall here. Still, they're, they're going to interact with it soon. One problem solves another. Meanwhile, the rest of the raiders... Traps to learn up, but that's okay. We got a couple of wigglers! Okay, so not everyone's gonna be running. Okay, it's just this group that's still actually hostile. So. Capture these two. We'll figure out what we're gonna do with them afterwards. He has some gene extraction. He has a pretty good call. Gonna get some imp genes going on. I love that they're using their bows here. You got this! I have faith in you. Either one of you, either the mechs or these guys. Oh, this one's trying to make a run for our base. Smoke Spear destroyed! Hooray! Flame Beard wants Flame Breath. That's good. Are you guys running yet? Nope. Still coming? Alright. Run. Release you because you're cranky. Plus, maybe you can do some tending. draft everyone work area actually we can unrestrict our people now and unrestrict our lifters because you can construct this unfortunately we didn't get to keep the power cell oh well Oh, one of our prisoners died. That's okay. Second one is currently being treated. Let's see. You're missing a leg. Hey, you know what? We've got the cure for, for missing leggedness. Um, Built-in pessimist, which I think... Yeah, demon pids have it. Delicate. So you take extra damage. Nudist, jogger. You're a good doctor, though. You know what? I think we keep this person around. And maybe just don't have them fight since they are going to be our token doctor. They do actually have some shooting passion, but they go down fast and they've got a medical skill. So what I probably do is convert and then recruit afterwards. What to do? Oh, you're asleep, so I can't use any powers on you right now. Okay, I'm going to turn on the power to our research labs again and kill the power to the deep penetrating their ground penetrating scanner because we've got um we've got enough underground deposits now that i'm no longer concerned okay oh, prime wants in there flame wants in there well flame's freaking out so rhyme you're not currently freaking out let's have you oh, oh, this is a little dirty in here i think his banana's making a mess Um, no, we could we could turn the, pa the turrets on and off. I'm not really worried about conserving power, actually. Our power's fine. I'm mostly trying to turn off excessive things right now to, um, prevent breakdowns. And I didn't want anyone researching for a while, because I wanted them using this instead. But now that we've got enough underground deposits, I want the research back on, and I may as well turn it off. Oh, yes, thank you. The waste. Do another batch of that immediately afterwards. Hey, prepaint. <laughs> That's a lot of time, yeah. Oh, 
Oh yeah, Doc Villain. How does this get... I guess we have to wait. It just times out, right? I mean, I can deconstruct it and reconstruct it, I think. Like, obviously, I only get 75% of the material back, but... Shit, that's a long time to wait. I think I will deconstruct it. It's so bitter. That's the big, the big down... Today, the, the big heartbreak was that. Just a single random bullet. And in other words, perfect combat. Just, boops, Doc Dylan right in the head. Yeah, that is a long bio-tuning. Yeah, we'll have to trash it. Medical emergency. Okay, that's Kazov over here. Oh, that's just from the extreme blood loss. Okay. It's not an active infection or anything. We're gonna be okay. I think I did just do a bulk unforbid. Yeah. Everything is un unforbidded. We need a factory research switch. That doesn't actually exist, right? I'm just saying that as a joke. It's like, it seems like entirely the sort of thing I could have missed. But no, I don't see it. I'm like, maybe there is! Would make sense! But that's kind of what we're doing. We're tearing it apart, rebuilding it. <laughs> but yeah, we have to um, put this in a sterile room so it goes faster. That's been the plan for a while now. In a place without traffic, because I was kind of going to build it over here. Because there's never really going to be any foot traffic. It's okay for these to be kind of out of the way. It looks so good to see real. It's a curse. Oh! I can hold the funeral still. Should we do like, um... Can I put a sarcophagus in this room? Forbid anyone from being put in it, but we can treat it as like the sarcophagus of... Like the missing um, settlers, colonists. Make it have a jade. I'm using it for the sculptures. Although. Wait, that's the villain. That's not even Doc Villain, that's the villain. Think of it less as a sarcophagus, more as a dinner table. <laughs> there you go, Grumpy Oldie, still training with love. There you go. Grumpy Oldie's almost out of the uh, the range for crafting. I mean, it's not like crafting five is terribly good, but I'm going to call that good enough for them to start making regular clothing. They'll probably still pop out some poor stuff from time to time, but they should be more to averaging on normal. Let's see, that one's normal, for example. I mean, I could have them, like, force train until they get to, like, ten or something, but... At some point, you gotta be like, nah, you can make real stuff, it's okay. Yeah, right now, getting rid of this waste pack, it's the only cost is, is 100 steel, which is actually something, and some chem fuel, which I don't care about. Makes it easy to toss this away right now. I hear something at the door. That might just be essential checking. Or maybe the FUDS is here. <laughs> no one's weirded out by the turret. Keeps aiming at the front door. Human detected. Begin firing procedure. Oh, wait. Override it. Firing procedure. Uh. Oh, okay. Insult spree. I saw fixated rage. I thought it was a murder thing. Now... The insult spree is really annoying because it will ruin other people's moods a lot. Um, it can break early. I believe it can start a social fight, in which case that will break it early and give catharsis. We could also um, um, arrest Drunk Shooter, but then it doesn't give catharsis and then gets the I was arrested debuff, which is not ideal. Most skills eight seem to be the point where the good is the need to be crafting less, though. Threat pods. Threat pods? Okay. Oh, mechanoid cluster spawn. Oh, I don't like the auto mortar. If I had a bunch of shells ready, I don't know. We'll see what happens in, in terms of crafting in four days. 
we could consider accepting it. God, these bots are slow. If you draft the arrestor before getting to the prison, doesn't that avoid the debuff? Maybe? So at that point, does it still cancel the mood, but doesn't give it the I was arrested thing? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so, uh, for contents... I'm just gonna clear all, so no one ever gets assigned to this. But we can do a funeral for the villain. Is there a moral guide in a box? Wait, haven't hit his... Oh! Where's a religious symbol? Oh, you are being body sculpted! Okay, I didn't see the symbol there! Yeah, okay. I was expecting a symbol, you know, like when they're berserking or sleeping for this, but yeah, okay, so we can't do it right now. Oh, there you go. We got a social fight, so that ended the insult spree. A few injuries, but that's not, you know, not the end of the world. Uh, how's things going on Kazov here? Okay, you're awake enough, we can probably use our, our actions on you soon. Although, oh, we can't because all my religious people are... Hmm. Yeah, because our advocates are locked in here. What are we looking at here? 2.4 days, 10 hours. Oh, that's not bad. Okay. Drunk shooter pulled his shirt off and had a tantrum. It's like a hockey player, right? Whipping off the jersey. Well, it's mostly throwing that in the gloves. But sometimes... Drunk's weapon kill focus. Maybe they need slaughter an animal or two. Oh, maybe. Is Drunk still naked? Yep. He <laughs> converting. While nude! I mean, knocked 7% off. It wasn't anything. It wasn't nothing, I suppose. you're short. Like, hold on, this is not square, but I forgot we had to make this room differently sized. I'm gonna, I'm gonna forbid these, I'm not actually gonna finish them as is. Oh yeah, here's, that's what I should do. I won't let him put it there because of the tree. So yeah, um, I guess we're not gonna nip the same standard room size that we've been working on. But, this lets us fit 12 of these in here. Like that. Offset middle row by one. And offset the rows so one of the- Oh, so the interaction spots on it. Oh yes, that's right, the room is big enough. That's a great point. That's an excellent point. Which technically isn't quite enough, although I could leave some in here. Although, I guess 
one of the advantages of our kids, they won't ask for age reversal for a while. How bad would it be if your sword had a better personality than you did? <laughs> There you go, Valinor is out. Oh, they're still not the, uh... yeah. They're still not the right person. I need Rhyme out here. It's gonna be better. Yeah, I know it's not square, but that's, that's actually turns out it's gonna be fine. Ooh, fast forward. That's always nice. Recon armor done. I don't know if we can really build it yet, but it's nice that it's an option. ending the stream in three minutes. Oh, and I'm so excited for my FUDs. Thank you very much for that. I haven't eaten yet today. I'm starved. Um, let's see here. We could do the goats thing if we want to do the kid, the kid parkas. Um, you know what? That's just a small stack we're not going to be able to do anything with. Get rid of these berries as well. It's just too small to be useful. Components, advanced components, always nice if we can do it. I'm just going to sell the leathers as is. Because we're kind of done our training. And we still get cloth that comes in, so that's going to be okay. Sell the ambrosia. I would like to buy all your steel. I guess I didn't get this. I'm not getting the 600 uranium anymore. Womp womp. I didn't even get you in the stream either. Yeah. Human leather kid parkas. Oh, wonderful. Uh, oh, uh, that's us. Is there anything else I want to buy from these guys? I mean, I guess I might as well buy medicine. Chocolate. Uh, it says that I'm out of neutromine, which actually might be true. Oh, not the gold. Here now, no, uh, yeah, just wait a second. I'll go and grab it after because we're just about to end the stream. What I'll do is I'll make one walk upstairs on my poor, my poor toe, go pee finally because I haven't done that all stream, get some more liquidation, get my fuds. Okay, I think I'm happy with this. It might just be out of range of the beacon. I don't. I mean, everything should be stored here. I don't know where else the neutromine would have been stored. But yeah, may as well get more. Make good good medicines. <laughs> Walking speed 0.75, yep. I'm not like a less interesting pawn. Maybe I should be sacrificed. Concrete, that's what I'm looking for. And the room, t the door tiles themselves aren't part of the room, so use your crappiest, cheapest floor for under the door. And yeah, I might do sterile floors over here. I know it, it's not much faster, I get that. But it'd still be a little faster. But currently we have the silver, so I think I'd be okay with it. Okay, so I can cancel these now. They were just there to sort of figure out maybe where the size of the room is going to be. <laughs> Quill has... Hold on, what was the full message here? Quill has a breakdown. Cause was in pain. Picking on a food, followed by hiding in his room. Yes, that's exactly what's going to happen. I'm going to load something up. I don't know if it's going to be a Netflix show. Uh, I'm catching up on um, Bob's Burgers again recently. Because I'd watched... I'd watched something like the first... 
don't know, eight seasons, like two or three times, actually. Um, there was a delay in getting things online somewhere, but now Disney's got, Disney Plus has got a bunch of their seasons, so I'm catching up on, uh, I think I'm, yeah, I'm on season nine? I think I just started season ten now. So I might do that. Might see what interesting stuff is just happens to be on the Dubs. Or I could, you know, catch up on some pop culture stuff that it's, in, like, insane that I haven't done. I've never watched The Mandalorian. I watched the first episode. Never watched The Mandalorian, which means I've never caught up on any other Star Wars content after The Mandalorian. I hear Andor's quite good. Um, I didn't, uh, we watched the first three episodes of Ms. Marvel together at the dinner table. We haven't gotten around to finishing that. And as a result, I haven't started watching, um, uh, She-Hulk yet either. Might still be good dinner table stuff. That's the thing. I'm like, oh, I don't want to watch it on my own. We might watch it as a group. Yeah, Bob's Burgers. I mean, is it under... I don't know. If, I don't think Bob's Burgers is underrated. I think it's under paying attention to. I don't know what the right word is. Underknown? In my opinion, I think everyone who's rated Bob's Burger rates it very highly. What's the word for... Like, it's just ignored. I guess is what it is. Oh, yeah, I never saw the Obi-Wan stuff. Looking forward to the uh, second episode of season three of the Owl House. Well, that was a solid show. A lot of people watch Owl House also watch Amphibia on Disney Plus. I was not enthralled by that. Underpopular, underperceived, overlooked. Yeah, Bob's Burger might be overlooked. And it's a really solid, brilliant show. Cult classic, yeah. What's amazing to me is, I mean, it must be doing okay because it's got enough seasons. Although, I think, you know. I think they chose well with their animation style. I think that helps keeps cost down. I don't know what it is, but yeah. I, I'm fucked with slouch. With slush. Thanks for the sub. Resub. I'm sorry. I don't know how to pronounce your name. It looks Greek to me. Okay, it looks German to me. <laughs> All right. Who wanted age reversal? Oh, man. We're getting yeah, more and more. Drunky, get in there. Oh, someone's gotta fill it first. Something can be overlooked and be underlooked? I guess so. Can something just be looked? See, now that makes me just wanna watch um, Young Justice again and hear all of Robin's like terrible puns and analysis. Like, if something can be overwhelmed and someone can be underwhelmed, can you ever just be whelmed? <laughs> the Great North is also great. Oh, okay. Ooh. Um, there's another one, what's it called, like, Empty Space or something like that? I think that one might be on, I don't remember if that's on Disney or Netflix. But it sounds like that one's pretty good. We can do another Anima Tree. Uh, oh yeah, we had invested so much in freaking Doc Villain and then he died. That's so random, just one shot kill. Well, Zapper, you can get your level two. Let's do it. Corner Gas is good. Final Space, maybe that's what it was. That sounds, I, as far as I understand, I think that's supposed to be pretty good, too. Oh, I need to um, finish watching, well, continue starting to watch, I guess, BoJack Horseman. Just thinking, I was just thinking of, like, adult animation that's, like, considered very good. I really want to watch BoJack Horseman. I've watched uh, half a dozen episodes, and I really liked it. Then I got distracted by everything else in life. I don't know if you do. Okay, let's try this again. Go for age reversal, please. Yeah, I know Bojack gets heavy. I think that, that's what I've heard. Like, it almost takes a while to sort of get itself established. And, like, it looks, it seems kind of like generic sort of cartoon in a way. Like, adult cartoon. With like, you know, people being you know, grumpy and, and things like that. Um, but, and then apparently it gets like, yeah, it gets super heavy, super deep, and super good. But, like, it almost tries to hide it for too long. It tries to fool you for too long that it's going to be a conventional sort of thing that you don't realize the awesomeness of the time. And a lot of people... Yeah, season one of Jack gets rough, gets a lot better. Yeah, that, that sort of thing. I think they just embrace the, like, this is a show about depression now, or something. But yeah, I haven't got, quite gotten there, but I'm sure it's something I'm going to love. <laughs> Shall I put it off? Oh, no, don't spoil her, but yeah. I don't know, there's like lots of things to watch. The question is, usually when I sit down, because of like anxiety and stuff I've been dealing with, it's hard to start new shows. It's really weird, but it's been very difficult to convince myself to start new shows. 
I'd rather rewatch something I've watched a million times, or watch a reaction to something I've rewatched a million times. Because it's like, then, then, then I know what's gonna happen, so it's safe. Yeah. <laughs> Ski. Ski is going to talk to the space company. Get out of there. We need to do some business. Okay, we're gonna be wrapping this. Let me check a kiss for Lux channel. I assume. I'm just guessing. There's gonna be Among Us and Victoria Three. Well, I played some Victoria 3 multiplayer um, with uh, Rhino the other day, just, just for fun. Just him and me. And that was a lot of fun. Yep, so it's going to be some Among Us multiplayer and Victoria 3 multiplayer over on a Kiss for Lux channel. We're going to go ahead and give them a raid. I'm going to go and eat my delicious garlicky fries of awesome. Been rewatching Orville, yeah. Uh, so yeah, we're going to raid them. I'm going to see you guys on Monday for more EVE Online. I've got a new ship all set up. Drone combat ship. Very hyped. We're going to do different type of content. Oh, hell of a boss. I gotta take a look at that. Oh, it's a YouTube show. Nice. Yeah, I've, I'm about halfway through the first season of Amphibia on Disney+. Plus, and I hear that, like, I hear it's another one of those that does get stronger, but we'll see. Anyway, see you soon. Give a kiss for luck or Rhino some love over there. And I'll see you guys on Monday for some EVE Online.